my darlings, it's I your host, Madam Tilly, and I'm here with my good friend, Ty Donuts. How are you tonight, Miss Tilly? Sensational. Glad to hear it. As always, <laughs> as, as t- I tell by my fans. <laughs> Dude, I've uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. I got back into that on uh, the online. Yeah. Its claws are so deep into me right now. It's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, I want to uh, play at some point. Cause I, I, I got interested in like the Twitch crowd control, and Red Dead has to be on the list. Like, I haven't played a story, the single player story, but I've been told phenomenal story. Yeah. I know, I know it's heresy. I've, it's been out this long, and I haven't, I haven't played it. But I've been doing a lot of the online stuff. <laughs> you about the story? Apparently, right? No, apparently, like this story is so great, and there's like, I didn't know this at first, but apparently, like in the story mode, there's hidden weapons that you can find that have unique skins and everything that are tied to the single player mode. And if you do not find them at that particular moment, you lose that chance forever until you, until you go back. I thought that was kind of interesting. A little, I mean, you can always go back, you know, do previous saves and whatnot and try to get the weapon that way, but uh, I've been doing the online mode. Uh, I've been doing the trapper job, the moonshiner job, the bounty hunter uh, job, collection, collector, naturalist. Mm-hmm. I mean, this game is basically my relaxation game. Like, if I just want to chill and relax, I just basically run around on my horse, hunting animals, uh, delivering moonshine. Uh, if I have my buddies with me, I'll do uh, bounty hunting missions. Mm-hmm. Um, because I just got in the uh, Carcano sniper rifle, and oh my God, that thing is a light is a game changer. I basically, yeah. huh? Uh, I was gonna say the reason I didn't, I didn't really give uh, Red Dead much of a chance is because I'm lazy, and um, <laughs> you see, because I just I didn't like the fact that you had to constantly tap the A or S button to keep the horse galloping. I'm like, I just like the car games where I can hold down the gas button. Oh, yeah. Trump definitely. cannot be fucking bothered to keep tapping. I mean, that's, that's why, why I, like, I dropped for this. That's why I like on st- on my PC. I just got to hold down the shift button and I go, Neum. And I just got the best horse, all uh, at the, apparently the best horse in the game not too long ago. Uh, and I got the a broken saddle and stirrups with it. So I basically can have inf- damn near infinite stamina while I'm riding on that horse. So I could gallop basically from one side of the map all the way to the other and hardly take a break. Yeah. I friend who got a PS3 just to play Blue Lays. <laughs> uh, I did get a, um, a mod to play so that way I can play on a single player lobby online. Yeah. And I can, it's basically a private lobby and I can invite anybody I want to and I can give them the info, tell them to download this particular mod, put it, plug this info, bam, private lobby. Because I love the online, but with other players on the on the other servers, there's so many griefers and hackers, it's not even funny. Like, there'll be people who teleport your character on top of a fucking bluff, and you can't do anything, and they'll just kill you right there. Oh. Or, you know, you're doing a, a delivery mission, and they'll run up right behind, basically teleport right behind you. And if you're, like, delivering moonshine, they'll throw a, di- a stick of dynamite in your uh, wagon and destroy all that money that you could have made. Sounds a little bit like a uh, Sea of Thieves. Kind of, uh, well, Sea of Thieves, you know, it's not, it's not as bad because you don't really yeah. put, it, you don't put effort into doing the, into yeah. getting to that point to make the deliveries. On Red Dead, you ha- for the trapper job, you have to make a delivery going out and hunting actual animals. Um, and for the moonshine job, uh, some of them are, t- uh, moonshine. You have to the higher paid ones. You have to find. Uh, certain plants or herbs or even uh, rare bottles of liquor to make it to make that uh, high end uh, moonshine so here's the crowd control so basically kind of the same thing as the hacking but at least you get paid for it <laughs> <laughs> your viewers can agitate the horse can ambush you oh no can teleport you anywhere can change the weather can damage the player can destroy any vehicle, can make you drunk, can eject you from your vehicle, empty your ammo, um, or empty any of your resources, explode the player, fight any nearby NPCs, but they can also fill your resources and ammo, 
force a dismount or freeze you. To full heal you and stuff. Uh, infinite stamina. Infinite dead eye. Invincible. Uh, let's see here. Kill all nearby horses or NPCs. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Can launch all nearby NPCs or vehicles. Lightning <laughs> strikes. Okay, uh, I can. Dollar to play. I can. I can say I've never been struck by lightning on that game. Oh, they even take your money. I can spin the camera around. So. Uh, yeah, so lots of chaos could be had, but at least you can pay for it in that case. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, um, because that actually sounds like a blast. It's just, yeah. I don't know, like, like, when you say drop all your stuff, does that mean, like, all your stuff, all the collectibles and everything, and your satchels that you've collected and everything, or? Um, usually it's, like, ammo, or dead eye or health core, or Okay. Stamina. Because I was about to say, I'm all for that, but if it's messing with stuff that I've had to actually work to collect, I'd be a little bit against it. But I don't think, yeah, it will, it will fuck with objectives. So just, um, now here's the list of shit we can do to get out of it. Yeah, I'd have to look at that. But yeah, I meant, that sounds fun. It just, I'd be nervous, like, if they told, like, basically, if I was doing a moonshine mission and they said, oh, hey, blow up his moonshine, and then I'm out, then I just. I, well, they destroy your vehicle. Uh, so, um, yeah, because the wagon, you, the problem with the moonshine delivery is you can't, the, you can, you're not, not supposed to have any damage done to the wagon because then you're yeah. damaged the moonshine bottles. And the less it yeah. ends up getting delivered, the less money you make. Or, you know what I would do? I'll just wait till you get near like there and I'll teleport to your side of the map. Hmm. <laughs> Spawn hot air balloon. <laughs> Sandstorm. Oh, man. Set honor to bad. The bad thing, I was playing with. Uh, Super jump. I was playing with uh, with Alice, one of our of uh, uh, mutuals, and she was a little gremlin. She would hot lasso people, NPCs, drag them to our, our camp. She go, "Oh no, this man succumbed to a fatal heart attack." And then I'd look at look because you know right before I'd see her run by a full sprint on her horse, and I'd hear a ma someone screaming. And we're like, uh huh, heart attack. Yeah, okay, I believe that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing here lately. But um, you got some news for us, Miss Tilly? Oh yeah. Sorry about well, the, the side uh, side road we had to go on. I'm part. I love it. I, I'm a moron. I go on side tangents a lot. <laughs> uh, that's okay. A moron and a blonde get together for a podcast. Oh, no. Okay. Um, hmm. Should we, uh... Let's see here. Should we... Okay, uh, do you want a disappointing uh, appointment story or an angry story? Uh, uh, disappointing or angry? Yeah. Oh, God. This is lose-lose no matter what I pick. Yeah. Uh... You know what? Let's go with angry. Get that one out of the way first. Okay. Get the worst ones out of the way first, and then we'll end on a high note. Redo this uh, one. Oh, for he's fuck. back. So, yeah, I heard he's like scrubbed everything. Apparently. Oh yeah. Like he erased all of his socials and everything, and he's kind of faded into the ether. That's what I've heard. I don't know if you've if you've heard anything else, but let's hear what you've heard. Well, yeah, I can see, like, paying people to, like, just, like, go through your whole history and delete all that shit. Um, but, like, um, and so, like, he's supposed to, he's, 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 he's going to come back. And I'm trying to say a word he said they were going to, um, he could actually even work, find work anymore. Yeah. His game studio fired him. Yeah, his, um, his game studio fired him that he built. You uh, demonetized them. He's demonetizing YouTube. He's, per as far as I know, is permanently banned on Twitch and Kick. Yeah, it's like uh, I think there's a rumor he's gonna try to give give Kick, but he said so much shit about Kick in the past. From what I heard, um, cause uh, yeah, I mean like uh, Kick, uh, I mean they'll even hire Nazis from what I heard. But um, and let's see here, uh. Like I said, I'm not sure how he's doing, but, you know, disrespect, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, he burned it. He burned that bridge. Yeah, it's like, bro, like... Like... Pedophile, you know? Like... Like, how do you come back from that? You shouldn't. It's like, it's one of those things, like, I don't understand people who defend, like, the now politically correct term, the minor attracted peoples, and I'm like, no, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing you deserve is a fucking noose. Yeah, like, unless there's some, you know, like, I can understand there's, like, maybe one strange circumstance or something. Uh, like, uh, like, because it was, like, it was, it was, what, six years ago or something? Five, six years ago? Like, if he never did it again, like, it was that one fucking time, and, like, uh, he's like, oh, man, I, I, I fuck, was, was, was he drunk, you know? Like, if it was, yeah. if it was one time, and the person lied about their age, yeah. I, so. like, and the bad thing is, that happened, that's more common than you think, is these minors lie about their age. Yeah, like, um. And I'm like, I, and I'm of the mindset, is like, if you're not sure... Don't interact with them. Like, if, if you have to interact with them, keep it polite and cordial. Don't yeah. do anything sus. Yeah. I mean, because I know a lot. Because uh, I, I was talking about this earlier, where I was like, if you have to question it, then you should probably be cautious. Yeah. Like, if you're unsure of somebody's age, um, you know, because I know there's going to be content creators that are always going to have ki fans that are kids and everything. I understand that. I accept that. That's just the nature of the beast if you're, you know... If you're a celebrity, content creator, what have you, yeah. uh, you're always going to have kid fans. Err on the side of caution if you don't know their age, like until you can actually see, you know. And the bad thing is, yeah. even if they give you a, an ID and everything, you know, until you actually see like that ID being used like at a bar or like a convenience store, you know, where they yeah. where they got to buy booze or cigarettes or, you know, cough medicine or what have you. Yeah. Until you see that ID actually work and, you know, get scanned and everything and it comes in yeah. legit, then you can, you know, kind of be a little bit flirty with them if they, if they you know, if they tickle yeah. your fancy. The reason why I came up with, like, you know, like, does he have a good excuse type of thing? Because I remember, like, uh, remember Don Vito from Big Little Bam. And yep, I remember, I remember John, Don That's Vito. <clears throat> when he got in trouble for groping some underage girls and stuff. I... Yep, I remember that. You see, Saying it's Don would get on the daily get blackout fucking drunk, so I'm pretty sure he just saw a pair of titties and didn't even couldn't even I tell you what age they were. Yeah, so they could have been 15, 25, 35. He was gonna grab them, so he was making a bad decision to be fucking you know drunk and gropey on a daily basis. Like, but he wasn't like an on purpose predator. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, even at that point, like, like to a point, I understand alcoholism as an alcoholic myself. Yeah, it's. The lines get very blurred, but even when I'm shit, completely hammered and shit faced, I even I have the presence of mind to know is like, if they're not, if I don't know exactly how old they are, if I know, if I don't know if they're over eighteen or not, I don't do anything. You know, I'll interact with them. You know, I'll, you know, I'll, I might give them a hug. Or, you know, tell stories, you know, high fives, all that stuff, you know, all that bar stuff that happens, you know? Um, but until I know for sure that if they're not over 18, I'll be, I'll interact with them that way. But if I know they're over 18 and if I like them, then yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll try to attempt to flirt. I mean, God's no, I can't. But um, I, I always make an ass out of myself when I try flirting. But, uh, yeah, it's like, even as an alcoholic, even I know, like, you know, when you're black, you know, blackout drunk, it's a bad excuse. And it's one I refuse to use for myself because, and the problem is I've never been blackout drunk. I've been completely fucking hammered and I still remember the next morning. I've never blacked out. I guess it's because of the, I have Irish, uh, yeah. it's probably because I have Irish and German ancestry. Yeah, because that good, he Italian, I think. But yeah. Because so, yeah, he would get drunk and just lay there and piss himself. Oh, yeah. He'd be that bad. He'd be that gone. Like I said, daily basis, so. It's yeah, like, no, then. So, like, he, he was, he, he was gonna get in trouble regardless, I guess. And, but, I mean, uh, like. Say, so he wasn't no, he wasn't no pedophile. Yeah. 
And even yeah, can, like you know, doing a pedophile sex. And as an alcoholic, please don't live like that. If you can't, yeah. If you can't handle your booze, and if you every time you're drinking, you get blackout drunk, cut back. Yeah. Like, like if you can put piss stains on the couch, it's it's you had enough. Yeah, you've had you have a problem if you wake up and yeah. and you you wake up the next morning after a, a night of drinking, you're just covered in piss. Yeah, that um, that should be a sign. I need to quit drinking. Yeah. Yeah, like back when I did like ERP on like World of Warcraft, you know, I never gave my age. I never asked ours, you know. Yeah. No photos, no shades, no real names, stuff. It was just you know characters. Yep. Yeah. You know, no personal information at all. All anonymous. I mean, I, you know, some of my <laughs> some of my partners and everything. I've had and I've had partners in ERP and everything from WoW and everything, and eventually, you know, it get, after Skype and everything came into the picture and everything, then, you know, uh, web, you know. Uh, video calling was starting to get popular and everything. And then, you know, um, actually being able to see who you're talking to and actually hearing the voice and everything and voice chat and everything. It, like, my partners on that, they weren't just, you know, sexy time partners. Some of them were raid partners or PvP partners or just roleplay partners, even just, you know, for good, if we just wanted to have a good roleplay for story and everything. Yeah. Um... And, you know, some of them, you know, I, I would actually, I would always find out if they're overage or not. And all that wonderful bullshit. Like, I, I wouldn't ask, you know, I would, yeah. for lack of a better term, you know, I'd show them my ID, obviously, my ID number blocked out, my social blocked out. You know, because I'd always hold my fingers over those numbers and everything, but, it, you know, show my yeah. birth date and all that bullshit. Ah, uh, that's your... I can't remember, like, Ryan Hay went from Rooster Teeth. That was a example. Like, I can't remember if they were, like, like they were, like, you know, underage or if they were under 18 or if they were just, like, you know, young adults, but it was still adultery. Uh, but, no, um, well, adultery is cheating on your partner. Yeah, I know. It's uh, still, like, a bad image. Um, yeah, it's, but, still a, uh, it's still a shit image. Yeah, it's like, uh, because I'm, like, cause I remember he tried to come back to Twitch, and they're, like, no, 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 you're just... You're just going to get, like, a manager job at a KFC or something, buddy. Yeah. You're, you're done with the internet, you know. And that I mean, leads me back to the dust of respect. Like, uh, where do you go? Even if, like, if you reach the top of the mountain. Uh, the problem is, like... It's like, you can't create content, nor you... Your internet life is over. Yeah, you your, your, internet, your internet life is dead. Like, and, and the only way you could get back is if, you know, if you... And, and I'm not trying to right. say this is justified, but... If they didn't know your face, um, you could try, you know, you could try making a pseudonym, you know, later on and try to get back into content creation. But the bad thing is the way the Internet is now, if you try that, eventually you're going to get doxxed and people are going to find out who you are. And well, if, I'd say maybe if you came back as like a VTuber or something, but then again, you're also starting all over from yeah, like zero subscribers. You'd have to earn your way back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's like our level, you know? Oh, yeah. So it, it's basically he can't the disrespect leave is gone. Um, and the bad, I mean, and the, I'll say this for Doctor Disrespect, I will give credit where credits due. I don't like the yeah. guy, but I will say his Doctor Disrespect character, and I don't know if it was a character or if it was actually him. It was very charismatic. Like he, you know, he knew, for lack of a better term, how what the right thing to say at the right time was to get yeah. to garner fans and everything. And I mean that's part of content creation you know you gotta have a little you gotta have a little charisma and everything you know yeah like you gotta uh, you gotta be, be a little bit you gotta be relate you gotta relate to the crowd a little bit you know oh yeah like the number one thing i tip i get to people for trying to get started on twitch is just find other people who like the things you like find out the uh, things you like be yourself don't lie um and just on it at the end of the day just have fun that's what's the most important part of content creation is having fun, and yeah. that will draw that will draw more people to you. It'll be it'll be a slow process, sure, or some you might get boosted by you know a big bigger content creator, and you know they might shout you out or something, and boom, all all of a sudden overnight you got several hundred fans. It's kind of like a story I I heard earlier. Um, I didn't I meant to tell you this, but I I've completely yeah. forgot about that until just now. Um. And I'd, I'd have to... The bad thing is we don't have a slide for this. But, um... 
basically what I heard, and I saw this happen live, and I felt bad for the guy. <laughs> it was a Dead by Daylight player, a uh, Twitch streamer. It was her, okay. um, and it was a VTuber. Her and a couple of her friends were. Oh, I might know this. You might know this, um, because it made the rounds not too long ago. Yeah, I, actually, I, I know what you're talking about. I made a yeah. tweet about it. Yep. Um, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to see your tweet. I haven't been on Twitter for a little bit. Um, but basically, what happened was this: these, this uh, survivor group were basically saying this guy was quote unquote humping these a downed player. Whenever they tried to reach for him, they they looked down and they weren't there, and they just the game basically kind of shoved them behind the play, the killer. And that happens. You know, because, you know, players collide with environments, you know, the game kind of has to force you back into the, you know, basically inbounds and everything. I would say, is T-Bag can get you canceled now? Do what? I would say, is T-Bag can get you canceled now? Yeah, T-Bag can get you canceled now. It'll, huh. it'll get you banned yeah. from online, turn online uh, like Halo and everything. Like, oh, man, because I remember that was invented in Halo. Like, yeah. It was, like, it was like a tradition, like you were expected of you. Yeah, like... And there was like, animations about it. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, that, that'll that get you banned from, like, official tournaments, even shooting dead uh, dead bodies and everything. Because apparently it's called it's considered poor sportsmanship. Oh. But basically what happened is uh, these people went to his Twitch channel because, you know, he had T uh, TTV in his uh, screen name on Dead by Daylight. And they're basically hitting on them and the two of these players were twitch partners by uh, i might add and they had like i think combined like 700 followers combined i think yeah and this guy only had like 18 viewers at the time and one of them said of course he's a white guy and one of them was like I, he seems very privileged and i'm just like really dude and then they had to shit on him. For, that's why you only have 18 viewers. And I'm like, oh, my God. That is like the cardinal sin of streaming. You don't bring up view count or watch count, you know? Yeah, that's why. And I tweet, like, I would, my mind would be blown if I had 18 viewers. Yeah, me too. I mean, uh, for the morons, when, I mean, the most we had was like 30 one night. And that was during Connor's uh, PC stream. Or whenever he was building his PC. That was the highest uh, watch counter that we had. We were ecstatic. We're having a good time with it. Fuck yeah. Now we're lucky. Now, on average, we get about maybe 10, maybe 11 viewers. And we're happy for every single one of them. Yeah. Like, I'd say I kind of like roll like, give me like 10, 15. And then if I get like a couple of raids that night, I'll go to like 18, 25. But, you know, um, you know, I tell people, I don't deserve it. I fucking earned it. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, and, but well, no, yeah, you do like, deserve it because you worked hard to get that far, mm -hmm. and I hope that you keep on growing. And I, you know, I have the ho I have the same hope for the morons as well. I'm shocked I'm able to go at this pace again. So I remember um, I, I I was like doing this many streams and this many collabs like uh, years ago, yeah. uh, and I got burnt out hard or something. And, you, that, know, you know, I mean, like the past year I've been taking I, I took so many like you know like weeks off and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that, that's so, what I was concerned about whenever you're saying that you're starting to branch out again. I was like, please take it slow. I know you got burnt out before. I don't want you to get burnt out again. Yeah. That's why I've been kind of, for lack of a better term, kind of on your ass a little bit. It's like kind of, you know, kind of take things slowly. Branch out very slowly. Don't don't overextend. Yeah. It's because I, I don't want you to get burnt out again. Yeah, because it's like now, because then I was like, okay, um... When can I, you know, take the time off to get, uh, give, like, you know, my 14 some attention? But now it's, like, every day off, I'm like, okay, I got to put, like, two things down instead of one thing down to do. Yeah. You know, it's like, so, like, after this, I'm streaming, you know, from Final Fantasy for, like, four years of light. Yeah, I saw that. Good luck on that, by the way. Oh, thank you. I'll probably be, after this, I'll probably work on Red Dead some more or Speed Freaks or something. Uh, well, yeah, that's a prequel to, uh, Breaking the Fault, so. Hard. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, but yeah, it's like you know, um, what, 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 what? You try to viewer shame? Yeah, you know? no, viewer shaming is that's scummy level. Like I would, even if the morons or if you were get, got to that level, and I know I'm one of your mods and everything, I would never go to you know someone who's talking shit on your stream. I wouldn't go to their stream and they're like, oh well, lol, you only have two viewers. I'm not gonna do that. That's shitty. 
and I don't know, this is like, you know, because, you know, we had a place, but like, it doesn't matter if you have like 500 more viewers than I am, I still see you as another human being. You're my equal, not my fucking superior. Right? Yeah, uh, so like, I'm not going to treat you too much different. You know? Like, I'll, like, if someone with, I don't know, let's just say someone with an average count of 500 viewers a stream came to the morons uh, when we were streaming, doing whatever. <laughs> and, you know, they started acting cool and, you know, saying, hey, I, I'm such and such. I saw your channel. I like what I saw. I wanted to throw you out. You know, I'd still, you know, respect them because, you know, obviously they worked hard to get to that amount of viewers. Like, even though I'm not a fan of a lot of the big streamers now, I'm just like, oh, fuck off. Um, I will still give credit where credit's due because I'm like, they still had to get like, they still have pull these numbers and are, are able to do it consecutively. That does take a fair amount of effort. I mean, even though I'm... And the problem is a lot of people don't know what goes on behind the scenes when it comes to streaming. Yeah. Because sometimes there's a bunch of scuff or, you know, a game might not work or, this, you know, you might get sick or something. A lot of shit happens behind the scenes. And I didn't realize this until we, me and the morons started streaming. And whenever I started streaming with you and everything, a lot of this I did not know. Now I'm like, okay, now I understand why some of these guys are kind of a little iffy sometimes, yeah. a little, a little touchy on some subjects, you know? Yeah, and also I, I, I can just uh, from your experience, I can just tell when someone's like a noob streamer. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just if I look at your channel or something, uh, and like, I was like, oh, they want to have like you know their own thing set up and stuff like that, or a guy from damn got their own kind of art, you know? Like I mean, they're still establishing. I mean, like you, like you, and I know you have all these arts. You have your transition stuff and everything. And I'm, hey, I'm happy for you. I think it's cool. I think it's neato, Dorito. The morons, we're bare bones, basic bitch setup. You know. Well, it's like one. I know. Uh, I know where to find the cheapest. You know, yeah. Slash bestest artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, like uh, like one of my animated overlays usually goes for twenty five bucks. Yeah, you because know, I got the luckiest deals in the world. Oh, definitely. You know? yeah, we... I see these uh, other artists charge like 200 bucks for one art asset, and I get fucking disgusted. Like, we're we're gonna have we're having uh, Dalton's friend Jay. Uh, she's gonna be doing art for for us and everything. Yeah. And she, the, her and Dalton have been in the talks about it. They're gonna have like she's gonna do like a be right back for us, uh, yeah. getting started, and you know, kind of a an art of all five of us. You know, sitting around a table, and I think it's going to be us yelling at each other. Yeah. Um, and I think it's going to have like a microphone kind of dangling in between, uh, in between all of us, and all of us yelling at each other. Yeah. Or uh, it's going to be something kind of funny and kind of silly, but kind of on brand for us. Um. Five more eyes, one mic. <laughs> oh, it, it gets crazy sometimes, dude. But um. That's what we're working on, and eventually, yeah. like, when we get to the point where, like, we think we can kind of get, you know, some transition phases and everything, I'll talk, I'll get with you and get, try to get in touch with your artists and everything, and see what we can do, and I'll get with the morons and see what we want to do as far as all that kind of stuff is concerned, but for right now, we're just like, fuck it, let's just go bare bones and let's just go as far as we can without it, man. Let's just see, let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's like I kind of like, I often like, I'm just like, so I look at some of my old uh, vibes, like, I kind of miss my old ass overlays, which was just a plain wood static background. You know? Hey, sometimes like, less like, poor. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, because uh, a lot of people, even like, you know, the, the people that are like, you know, bigger than us are just like, they don't even use an overlay. Yeah. You know, it's just, just them with, uh, you know, green screen or little webcam bots. And hey, there's you know, nothing the wrong with that. I, don't know, I guess I want a little personality or something with mine. Oh, but I mean, um, there's nothing wrong with you know having a little bit of personality to be yeah. like what you do and everything. But as far as like they just have like a little, little uh, webcam box. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes simple works. And the one it's, thing I will, oh, here's a tip for you. Um, uh, subscribe. I mean, you might even get a free trial for like one month of like the what was it uh, Streamlabs Prime or Turbo, what the fuck it is? But uh, yeah, Streamlabs Prime. Um, cause then you got access to like 5,000 different overlays and that's kind of how I started. I kind of like checked out all their little overlays Okay. And, and stuff like that. If you got so many animated stuff, animated assets, basically if you want to see what looks like the coolest looking and what works, you know, for you, yeah, just, just for good ideas. I think what, I think what I'll have to do is have me, you and Dalton have a little bit of a powwow, uh, one of these yeah. days 
and you kind of explain some of these tips and tricks for us because right. we are wanting to do it a little get set up a little bit better but for right now just kind of bare bones minimum but yeah, yeah i think uh like yeah because yeah, it costs like 18 bucks or something but like still that's like yeah like you get so much of this anime like expensive looking shit yeah um, it's just basically it's a whole big grab bag to experiment with oh yeah um Um, okay, and, um, also, if y'all come into my chat and say, oh, you only have 18 viewers, I'm gonna say, no, I got 17, because you got banned. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that from me. I guarantee it. But, and, um, and I'm almost, I'm almost willing to bet money the other morons aren't gonna do that, because that, oh, we're all above, as far as I'm aware, all five of us are above uh, view shaming and everything, because that, like I said, that's just absolute shitbird uh, behavior. And if I ever saw one of them, I, you know, uh, if I heard one of them say that on a stream, I'd crack them up upside the head. I'd be like, "Hey, cut your shit!" Like every now and again, I have to get on their ass. Sometimes on stream when they say a bad word and everything, obviously, you know, the stuff that'll that'll get you in trouble on Twitch. Yeah. But. I, I'll, I'll I'll yell at them and they'll be like, oh shit. And uh, I guess circle final back around to Mr. Disrespect. Uh, well, um, shame can go to you, pal. And yeah, I could uh, discuss further on like what you could have done better. But fuck it, you're a pedophile. You yeah. don't deserve any respect. Yeah, as you far as also I, have your doctorate, you know, taken away as well. As far as I know, he knew that they were underage and everything. And if that's the case, fuck them. Not everyone can dodge a bullet like Pro Jared did. Fucking hell. That was a shit show. Oh, yeah. He Matrix dodged that bullet. It was that close. He had he had those, he had those receipts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. Before we get on to uh, something more funnier, uh, let's go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. So, uh, we already talked about another repeat offender on uh, this show. Oh, no. Who, who are we talking about now? We basically talk about him every month now. This... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. So, I got not one, but four, like, rumors about... Suicide Squad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one second, I got a DM here. Uh, let's let's PST to EST. Okay, so five PM PST to EST. Okay, so I got to call out tomorrow at eight PM. Okay, uh, so, probably my favorite of the rumors, uh, the reason that the picture's like that. Um, so, uh, apparently WB Games now just has a skeleton crew working on Suicide Squad. Yeah. Reason kind of being is that um, now being assigned to work on Suicide Squad is considered a form of punishment. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Take the whipping there, or you should take the suicide squad. Then. So. I'd rather take the whip. <laughs> um, so yeah, can you imagine like you got like an email from your boss, like, "Hey, Tito, your uh, productivity numbers seem down. So um, we feel your talents be best uh, uh, 
be assigned to work on Suicide Squad for the next couple of months. Dear, Have a great summer. Dear boss, kill me now or fire me. I refuse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I mean, that game lost Warner Brothers $2.1 million. I think million, right? I want to say million, but let me look. Uh, yeah, we need, we need to sell it over there. How much money did Suicide... Yeah, oh no! Warner Brothers reported a $200 million loss. That sounds more accurate. Yeah, no, that is that is not chump change. That is that is big dollar reduce. But yeah, no, uh, and like I saw the the Mrs. Freeze thing that they were doing. Like I know you would like it because it's all, like ninety percent of it is all like LGBT uh, yeah. outfits and everything. But even I'm just like. Oh God, no! Every all the skeletons are come shrieking out of the closet out of this game now. Yeah, I think too many people are doing that particular um, uh, cosmetic, basically the hairstyle with the, uh, the glasses and stuff. Um, I think it was called the Chelsea haircut, where like half the head is shaved and everything, and the other half is like, kind of, for lack of a better term, kind of like a comb over. I, well, I, that was fine. It's the um, it's like I like, I like that like uh. It's like that, like, uh, like it's kind of like a, like, say, like a, a black lady afro, but like it's like, yeah, a classical one with like, like kind of like, like a half pop door. Like yeah. Sort of part. Yeah, like, like that one. And, um, yeah, I, I'll have to find proper hairstyle. Uh, oh, like, you mean uh, like, you mean like Space Dandy's pompadour? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually like glad. Like Starfield or something. I'm like, actually like, glad that you knew who Space Dandy was. That makes me so happy. Yeah. I haven't seen the anime, but I got... Um, oh, watch it. I have it. it on my hard drive. Oh, watch it. It is so... It is a good time. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, but... It's... Cause I've been seeing that one... That was like, like... Black lady with, like, a weird haircut and thick plastic glasses. That's been going around a lot lately. Yeah. Um, like, I remember... And... I remember seeing a tweet from some dev or something. I, I can't... I can't remember who they worked for. Uh, but they're basically saying they hated how they would pr pitch these ideas. Uh, and they, and as the tweet says of, uh, how they would make these beautiful black characters, black women characters and everything. And I saw the pictures of some of his concept and I think they were yeah. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought the, those women were beautiful, but he said he got sick of uh, all of his design ideas getting shut down. And he said, uh, getting the art, what the would get green light back. And as he called them, grocery store aunties. Yeah, it's I kind of don't understand. Because I said, I'm a woke as fuck, too. You know what I mean? I back, you know, SBI and, you know, Nita and all them. But, like, um, you know, Kotaku and whatnot. But it's like, even though it's like, I'm kind of questioning. So, it's like, you know, it's like, kind of go with at least, like, one out of the uh, options. Like, like make them weaver black or make them, like, you know, colored rainbow hair or muscular are this or that, but it's like you can't like, like put like all of them on the same character at once. Yeah, no, yeah. like a couple of things, yeah. you know, a little bit, you know, it's like the like, rainbows, yeah. the, the odd colored hair or the muscular, you know, one or two of those ticks is fine. Yeah. But when you tick every single box for one character, you're just, I'm just looking at it as like, okay, um, no. Yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, uh, like I say, like Abby from Last of Us 2, she's fine as fuck. But imagine if they, like, you know, uh, give her a mohawk and slap her on a bunch of makeup and some, and some glasses. Which one was that? Honor. Which one Abby was from Last of Us 2, you know, the muscle chick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Abby Goffin. Yeah, okay. Um, so imagine if they took Abby and gave her a colored mohawk with glasses. Hell no. That game would get shit on more than it already is. Yeah, it's like, it's like literally, like, I was just making a character in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. You know, I mean, uh, you know, a uh, hot, fierce-looking black woman with cornrow black hair. And then and I was like, I, I spray with makeup. Like, that's too much makeup. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they would have been like, oh, that's perfect. You know? Yeah, like, a uh, little bit of makeup goes a long way. You don't need to put, you know, the entire fucking template on your fucking face. Yeah, because I, I was like, oh, because I was supposed to have, like, the glowing, you know, glitter makeup on. I'm like, oh, that's too much. Yeah, like, you know? like I, made a, I made a character on Baldur's Gate a while back, and I just said, fuck it, I'm going for pure comedic value. Like, had all all the makeup, just different colors. Like, the hair started off, like, green, and then it went to yellow, then red, and I'm just like... And then I, ma I made her a female and everything, but I gave her, like... You remember 
Remember Fable? Uh, yeah. You remember the little ha the swirly handlebar mustache that they had? Of course. I had that on my on my woman and everything, and I yeah. I could not stop laughing during the character creation because of how absurd it was. I'm yeah, like. It looked like mustache girl from Hatton's Time. Like, what made it funnier? She looked like I had all this wild coloring and everything. I made her a rogue. Sir. I'm like, this is such an oxymoron. <laughs> I'm like, anybody who sees this character is going to be like, I could see you. And she'd be like, no, -uh, I'm stealthed. <laughs> like, well, our, our target's colorblind, so I know who to send on the job. Apparently, like, apparently all of Faerun is colorblind. <laughs> uh, but, but no, like... Yeah, so, it, they, they kind of lied on all the two fic with that one. Yeah. On some characters. Like, I could, I could literally do a presentation on, like, what characters I think they are, like, woke as fuck, but, you know, pretty good. Uh, you know, it is some that are, you know, and, like, you're trying too hard, you know? Like, um, I don't mind, like... Here's the problem. I hear I always hear these games are being made now for modern audiences. And I appreciate that. I personally don't because I look at all these these sales and like uh who like the top player counts like the uh, the Steam Daddy page said. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Sorry about that. Yeah. Got a little heartburn going on. Oh, yeah, Yeah, uh, a little dragon breath as I call it. Um uh, it's because it feels like I got fire burning in my chest right now. Yeah. Um, I, but I'm just like looking at some of these, and uh, some of these counts are just bad. I mean, like I said uh, we actually we we'll kind of go back. We, we you know we should do uh, a little a episode like you know like like woke enough or too woke or something like that because I mean like, so I'm pro modern audience you know but so I could be like okay and we literally like. I put a picture of game and you can go back and forth on the design. Oh, like a debate? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I am fucking down to clown, dude. I love debating. I, I suck at debating, but... Uh, well, oh, I'm, I'm not good at it either, but I love it. Well, I love how... It, here's the thing. I love being challenged. You know? Uh, I love having a challenge thrown at me. And if it's a verbal debate and everything, a kind debate, you know, no yelling and screaming. I mean, obviously, we're going to call each yeah. other shitters and everything because that's just our right. friendship. But you know me, I, I don't like challenge, and but at least I'm, I'm good at improv. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I think but, that's uh, why I think that's why we mesh so well. You know, yeah. Uh, it's kind of yeah. it, the bad thing is we we're alike in a lot of ways, but completely polar opposites of each other, and on a lot of things as well. Hey, and, I was I, start a new game yesterday. I didn't have an easy option. Like I'm an SJW. Where's the easy difficulty? <laughs> if I if I'm I self aware. Honey. If I <laughs> if I heard you say that, I'd be like, "Get good, scrub. Let's go." And, well, say, am I my, my usual response to that? And it actually is a valid response. I'm sorry, but it's like it's like I don't I shouldn't have to get good or like uh or I got too many games in the backlog. I ain't got time to get good at. Oh no, no, I, I completely understand. Like if that, you got a bunch that, of that, if you got yeah, a bunch of games backlogged, and you know, some uh, like a lot, I still um, when we were playing Helldivers a lot, I would hit the, uh, I think it was the V key or the B key, I can't remember which one it was, yeah. uh, for the health. And then when me and the morons would play Deep Rock Galactic, if I was getting low, I'd be spamming the heal button like on Helldivers. I'm like, oh fuck, I don't have that button on this game anymore. Fuck. Now, now I can understand if I was like in like a league or something, and Dar was gonna have to get paid along. Yeah, I did. I would have to get good. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, like if, you get, yeah. if you're taking part in a big league tournament and like an official tournament, oh yeah, you better be good. Uh, have you ever heard a story of uh, the team, uh, the, the esports team Vindictus on from League of Legends? I might have refresh my memory. It was an all girl team, um, and Vindictus kind of stood for "Show us no mercy." Like bring it on, you know. Yeah. And um, they're apparently the worst. Uh, oh. Guests in the, in the world. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, now I remember. It. Yeah, like they were, they got brought into like the like an official league tournament or something, and they had zero wins. That and they even got the world record for the shortest match in league. Normally, it's a league. Uh, uh, a, a match goes for like. At, at least 17 minutes or something like that. That's yeah. Very, the quickest. So it usually goes from like 22 and Yeah, I've heard minutes. I've heard uh, some of my buddies I play, they say on an average match for them, 
is 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. And somehow they got the, the world record, uh, like, you know, quickest match for, like, I think 11 minutes. Something like, the, the owners of League of Legends were astonished. It's a, yeah, that's that, that, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah, that's... Oh, man. Now, one time I did get a... I think I had an Overwatch match that lasted less than one minute. We got literally immediately steamrolled out the gate by the AI or whoever, you know, AI. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, like the the, 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 uh, the match highlight was just, like, one person to shoot a gun in the random direction. Oh, it was so, so short. It was a comp... It was, highlight. was it a comp stomp? I think it was a comp stomp, yeah. Okay, if but, it was a comp stomp, I, I, not to shit on it, it's like... If it was against other players, th that's impressive as fuck. Now, still, granted, against AI, that's still impressive, but it, the bad thing is, you know, and I'm not trying to sound shitty or anything because I love you and everything. You're one of my besties. But AI has a tendency to fuck up a lot. Uh, I would say cause they, they had to be, like, you know, like, spawn right outside the, our fucking rooms. We didn't even leave our fucking room. We just they really came in and killed us all. Immediate loss. Yeah, but... Yeah. Um, Oh, man. So, but, yeah. So, uh, the Great Woke Debate, that's something we got to uh, have, I guess. Um, I'm down. But, but uh, no, I, yeah, he it's like, I heard yeah. a rumor about the some of the devs from Suicide Squad. Now, this is a rumor I heard. I can't confirm this. But, um, so, take this with a big grain of salt, as I always say, if I'm not 100% sure on something. That's bad for your heart. <laughs> hey, yeah, salt makes everything taste better. Um, I heard that a lot of them that were working on Suicide Squad are getting moved over to work on the on the Hogwarts Legacy sequel. Uh, now, and I know how you feel about J.K. Rawlings. I'm not the biggest fan of her myself. Well, ah, excuse me. Fucking hell, I don't know what the hell is going on with me today. Um, uh, I, I think I probably sniffed... Some, some allergies got into me and now they're wreaking hell with me right now. Um, but I will say that Hogwarts Legacy, it did, it did make money. It did make a lot of sales. I will say that. Now, I, now I'm going to say this. I, I get hate no matter where I say it, but I, you know me, I don't care. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people who were wanting to play Hogwarts Legacy were not, a lot of them were not wanting to, you know, weren't aware of all the stuff that Rawling said and everything. Some of, a lot of them just wanted to play the game because they liked the IP Harry Potter. Right. And honestly, I can't get mad for somebody who just wanted to play, like if they had no idea about it, even if they knew about it, about what she said. If somebody wanted to play in a, a game based on a universe that they grew up and they loved, and if it helped them uh, overcome challenges and everything, I can't judge anybody for that. You know, it's like uh, I, yeah, it's the I whole I, separate the art from the artist. So yeah, I can separate art from the artist. I know a lot of people can't. Yeah. But I can. I'm able to make that dis that separation. It's kind of like where I love Lovecraftian horror. I love yeah. it. It's one of my favorites. But I do know H.P. Lovecraft was a piece of shit. Like, I know he was a, he was a shitter. <coughs> he, he was a great A piece of shit. But the mythos that man created, oh, God, I love it. It's like, I, yeah. it's like how I still get shit for playing World of Warcraft even after all the bl shit Blizzard. What happened at Blizzard? Yeah, essentially. <laughs> kind of, you know, I, mean, I, gave some, I gave it a lot of shit. Like, I was, I was cheering for its downfall. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, you know, it's, and there's a lot of people who can, like, stick to their convictions. Like, um, I know, like, one guy who, um, he makes a ton of Star Trek content, you know, videos on, on Star Trek on YouTube. Okay. And he said, hey, if I found out today that Gene Roddenberry actually was a Nazi, I would totally drop Star Trek. Yeah. You know? Or so, I and, there, but there's some people who just can't, or, or can separate it, and some would just will stick to their conventions, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, uh, my my hats off to people who could stick to their convention con convictions. God, I can't even talk word, today. Yeah. yeah, that's a hell of a word. Um, my hats off to you. You know, even if I agree or disagree with you, if you're going, if you're sticking to your guns, hey, I I respect that. Um, well, then you got the poor streamers who are like, uh, 
who were like, uh, yeah, while well, I was under fire, but this is how I made my content, where I got where I was. I'm kind of in a spot here. Yeah. You know? Uh, cause, uh, but like, um, yeah, so, it goes on variety. Oh, yeah, uh, it's like, I could... I actually tried the corporate thing, and it just got too many red flags. Yeah, I mean, the bad thing is with corporate stuff, yeah, they could pay, and they could pay very well, but you have to play by their rules. Yeah, and, so, kinda, and some of them are pre recently, so and yeah. some of them are really sketchy but yeah. i mean it's kind of like how like one of my one of the games i absolutely loved was assassin's creed valhalla oh yeah mhm mm i had a blast with that game i went out of my way to um beat the game in its entirety story wise mind you mm -hmm. um i didn't ever get the chance to finish like I think it was the Siege of Paris DLC. Yeah. And I didn't get to finish some of the river raiding. And the river raiding was fun. But I learned that Sweet Baby was tied to it. And I'm just like, I can't touch. Uh, and I'm just like, nope, I'm done. And it was a shame. I loved Valhalla. But I'm sticking to my convictions. Uh, if Sweet Baby has ha had something to do with it, I can't, uh, I can't it support it. like you're... Sounds like you could you could pick and choose your battles. I know. Like I can, you know, you're like I can't leave WoW, but I can drop this because Sweet Baby. Was... Okay, say you found out Sweet Baby had to do with that WoW. You know? Yeah. I would drop it. All right. It's weird how you can make a stance like that. Like, uh, I like know. One just overpowers the other. But yeah. Like, you know, I I love WoW, and WoW will always have a special place in my heart, even if I, you know, even if, even after the, all the. Uh, after all the Bobby Kodak shit, yeah. but, uh, apparently Sweet Baby Inc. is worse than Bobby Kodak for you? They're both bad, trust me. Um, I didn't start playing until after uh, the ink dried on, basically, whenever they sold, when Bobby, uh, I, get, I guess the right word is sold? Blizzard to, um, no, not, a, uh, Microsoft. Oh, okay. yeah. I think sold is the right word, I can't, I don't know. I think because Blizzard or Microsoft owns Activision Blizzard now, so I think he sold it to them. I, I, I might not be choosing the right word on this one. Right. But I think okay. that I think that's what happened. Okay. So, in, in a way, it's like kind of like how WWE fans are more at ease now that uh, the company's away from Vince McMahon. Oh, trust me. I I still say this. The last uh, few pictures that I've seen of Vince. Uh, with, yeah. with his real thin mustache. Yeah. Man, to me, he looked like the damn warden from Beyond Reanimator. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? No, no. Look at this. Tell me I'm fucking wrong, warden. I trust you. Okay. Okay. But... Let's play the next. Like, so yeah, this guy, yeah, never do a sweet baby. Meanwhile, I'm on a sweet baby like, mailing list. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, how okay. do we go with this, Tito? How do we do it? I have no idea. See, that's the warden from uh, Beyond Reanimator. Okay. Oh, he, fuck, he does, yeah. He looks like Vince, always, doesn't he? I thought he, he always looked like kind of like Disney, Walt Disney, but uh, yeah. Yeah. A little uh, bit. Yeah, now that I think about it, um, let me see. Walt Disney. Yeah. Not, yeah, it's in the stash. Now, some of these... It. Some of these pictures yeah. of Walt, his mustache is really big, but some of them it's pretty thinned. Anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, we're getting off topic again. Fucking hell. Yeah, but... Like, like you said, so, a moron and a blonde walk into a bar and do a podcast. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, for record, I like the Concord care designs. Their outfits are a little too bland. But, but, uh, moving on. Uh, but, uh, but also, good, good for good Walt design, uh, Carly Quinn in Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't really see her. Are you talking like her default outfit? Yeah, her default outfit in the, in the Suicide Squad game. Let me see. Uh, Harley oh, Quinn a, default outfit. I'm sure that's a good modern audience uh, type of Harley Quinn outfit. Um, are you kind of like, is it like the latex kind of black and red? Just look up Suicide Squad Kills Justice. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. It, 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 I'm guessing this the default one is like. Well, the problem is it's bringing up a whole bunch of outfits. 
or are you talking about like the kind of the jean jacket? Uh, jacket one. Is it the red and blue jacket with the red and blue yeah. tight? Uh, let me yeah. take a let me get a better look at this. Um, oh come on, give me the oh, okay. Here we go. Um, yeah, kind of the bad thing, and uh, it kind of reminds me of um, the Suicide Squad movie. That outfit with Margot Robbie. Uh huh. It, it looks like that one. Like I'm yeah. okay with that outfit. Yeah. Okay. Um. That next topic. Yavol. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Send him the thumbnail uh, post. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm having to full screen this one. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like the people watch this, they get the slideshow. Yeah, uh, they but, get the slideshow. Uh, Tito's yeah. easy's, you know, at, at the, like live, so. You Let's get to see. Decipher what's going on before I talk about it. Oh yeah, I get to. It's a guessing game between us. I'm all for it. Uh, let's see. Slug is crying about Starship Troopers, and the one of the other ones is watching Hell Divers. Um, I'm guessing because I'm guessing one is wanting to play play Scar Starship Troopers, but the other one's playing watching Hell Divers. I'm guessing. I don't. Pretty it, close. Um. So the, the uh, for a recent uh, Starship Troopers game, uh, the, the, the I think the developers were like, "Okay, guys, uh, you had your phone uh, held tight, so you can come play our game now." Oh, okay. So people, people, people basically, it's like, "Okay, it's enough held tight, start coming to play our game." Well, I think <laughs> I think Starship Troopers came out before Hell Divers too, didn't it? I think so. I think it, I don't think it was by a grand margin, maybe a month or so. Yeah. But yeah, I think Starship Troopers came out first, but I think it was kind of, I think it was kind of those sleeper hits, you know? Yeah. Because I don't think it had a whole lot of press behind it, and then Helldivers came out, and it was so different compared to everything else that it overshadowed Starship Troopers, and then Starship Troopers started coming more into the limelight uh, because of all the references and everything to Starship Troopers. Uh, yeah, and, uh, but yeah, you and me were just talking for the pod how Hell Divers is basically, um, kind of in its death throes here. Oh, no, it, it's dying. Yeah. Which is sad, because I loved Hell Divers too. I had a great time with it until the end there, and I was, like I was, like I was telling you, me and my buddies, we were able to clear, uh, Hell Dive difficulty, which is tier 9. We were able to do that pretty quickly. And then all the the first roll of nerfs came out, and then we we're barely able to do six. Hell, yeah, yeah. one of the missions, one of the story missions, where they had to have us drill for, uh, dr pump, uh, black, um, basically black matter or dark matter into the earth or into one of the planets. It was so busted; no one, hardly anybody, could do it. On, even on tier four, some of them had to do it on tier one to. To pass the mission because it was so broken. Thanks. Yeah, they did not test that. I just wonder what's going on because you know we already lost half their player base thanks to the Sony's uh, bullshit. They lost um, half the player base because of Sony's fuckery. And, and now we know they don't know how to uh, balance. They don't know how to balance. They like they just nerf everything. They refused to. Some of them just did. Some of the shit just didn't get tested. <laughs> and um. And they've Maybe we don't have any testers. We are the testers. I mean, to some extent, I can respect that. But at the same time, do a PTR. You know? Yeah. Like, if you're not sure, do a P make a PTR. Make it, you know, obviously free for people to play it. Like, if they... Um, and let them test these changes and, you know, give feedback. I mean, that's what a lot of... Some of these bigger games do. You know? They're like, hey, hey, guys... Try this out. If you like it, let us know. Let us know if there's anything busted, and we might. And every every now and again, we'll throw you a little something cosmetic uh, your way that says, "Hey, I helped uh, play test this shit." That's what see if these doves. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, all right for a uh, a bad move. A dad move. A bad move. Oh, a bad move. I thought you said dad. Uh, let's see it. Okay. Oh God. Uh. Is, 
I feel like I've seen... Is this from... Uh... Oh, fuck. What was that game? It's pretty recent. Yeah, I think a lot of the Warhammer community tried to move in, move into this, and a lot of them basically got shut down or something, or boot chased away from it. I can't remember. Fuck, what was this called? Lords uh, of the... I can't remember. Lords of the Fallen. <clears throat> so, uh... Lords of Fallen decided to take that Epic Games money. Ugh. So, I mean, up front, it covers a hell of a lot of development costs and stuff. Yeah. However, uh, they had basically signed their soul and only be on the Epic Games store. Gross. Yeah, um, and so, basically, uh, you get your game made, but it gets to be dead on arrival. Yeah, no. I... So that's what fucked over Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2... A year later, have finally made a profit. They finally got a red hop. And that game was nominated for nearly Game of the Year. It was for Baldur's Gate 3. It probably could have made Gamers a Game of the Year. Yeah, no. But it's, it, was, it was exclusive to the Epic Games Store. No Steam access. Epic Games. And uh, now they're just now turning a profit. Which is horrible. Bad. Yeah, because Elmway's a bigger IP than Lords of the Fallen. You know, so, yeah, you're like... You know, I this just thought this... Unrival. Just by this, guy, just by this guy's look, I love that design. Yeah. Like this looks fucking awesome. Yeah. And I would have loved to try it, but I'm not touching Epic Games. Uh, Ugh, gross. That that's disappointing to hear. I, there's some people who are like, I buy games on Steam. I get free games on Epic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least say like seventy-five percent of my Epic games are were given to me. Oh yeah. And probably the Air 25 is on sale. Um, also, uh, speaking of Warhammer, uh, I think Fanatical currently has a Warhammer bundle. So if you don't have uh, Sanctus Reach, Battle Sector, or Gladius, I uh, go get that bundle. I think I have them. Let me look. Yeah. Uh, There's probably a DLC I don't have. Oh, there might be. Uh, Let's see. Okay, here's yeah. the games I have. I have Dawn of, all the Dawn of War games. I have Gladius, Relics of War, Regicide, Sanctus Reach, Space Marine. Um, I thought I had some other ones as well. I have uh, Space Hulk, Space Hulk Ascension, Space Hulk Deathwing, Deathwing Enhanced Edition. Um, my ex bought me those years ago, and I have yet to play them because of fucking Dark Angels. Blah. I sorry, I don't like that chapter. Oh, I, it, it comes from me uh, playing. It comes from me being a Space Wolves fan. Uh, I got I got the obscure ones on PS4. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have I own Mechanicus. I've already beaten it. Um, I have Speed Freaks. I have Daka Squadron. Um, I have Blood Bowl two, and I think that's all my and Total War Warhammer three. I think that's all my Warhammer games that I have. Or that I own, rather. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, but yeah, I think uh, Lord of Fall dead on arrival. It might be. Uh, I'm hoping. I mean, because I, I know some games from the Epic State, Epic Game Store, do after. Bad thing is, after a long time, they're able to migrate over to Steam. Like they might be able to buy their way out of the contract. Or the contract lapses, and then they're able to come to Steam. Yeah. I mean, they might have a future. I really don't know. It's just, yeah. I know a lot of people do not trust Epic Games. Oh, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just the uh, the exclusivity thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I would have figured something out. Like, okay, maybe we'll have like a exclusive DLC, maybe then, or yeah, or items, or I would, I would work something like, okay, Epic Games gets its own bonus. You know, but yeah. uh, but or in that though, I would be also on being Steam, uh, kind of like how like you know PlayStation exclusive character or you know yeah or buy this game from Walmart you get a bonus skin that's exclusive to that yeah you know? that used to be uh, how it, that used to be a thing way back in the in the day you remember that yeah yeah good old seventh gen was it yeah mm -hmm. uh the consoles and stuff yeah I remember yeah. it was like Mortal Kombat X Walmart had a special skin for Scorpion. And GameStop had a special skin for Scorpion. 
Yeah, I got. I literally got my Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag, the Walmart edition. I got mine from uh, GameStop. I got the Game uh, of the Year edition, and I got the statue with Edward Kenway. Yeah. By far, that one's still my favorite Black Flag. It it oversee like, I loved Valhalla, but Black Flag was more fun. It, it was a great game. I think. Uh... The book kind of sucks. Uh, or basically, I think the Kenways are all fucking idiots. Oh yeah, like I have uh, the I have the book. Yeah. But I never got a chance to read it. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, Kenway's kind of, kind of a bit of an asshole in the books. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Connor. He's much better dude in the game. Oh definitely, uh, Connor's an asshole. <laughs> oh yeah, Connor too. And, uh, and even Haytham kind of made some. Oh Haytham was a shitter. Yeah. Uh. Like, out of all of them, Ed, out of all of them, I think Edward was the best. Perhaps like, it's, it's what he did to his wife and daughter. I mean, uh, the books. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was kind of shitty. In the games, he games kind of paints some of his tragic, but uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, in the books, he he, he pretty much did it to his wife on purpose. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, so like I said, I, hope, I don't even know if he good reviews because that's what Alan Wake got good reviews and it still didn't say. But uh, so. Yeah. Good luck, Lords of the Fallen. Good luck. Now, from one dumb decision by a uh, game dev to a game company. Uh oh. All right. Oh, oh no. What did Apex do? Uh, well, um, and they're trying to correct this mistake at least. Uh, at least this story's been updated. But they decided, kind of like, what's Mortal Kombat one game battle pass, two battle passes. Oh, gross! Yep. I hate the battle passes battle in the pass best of situations. Yeah. Like even Speed Freaks, I'm not a fan of it, but I mean, I can't. I can't remember. Is Apex free to play, or do you have to buy that? I think it's free to play. Okay, to and ex if it's a free to play game, I will give a battle pass more leniency. Because, uh, yeah. because obviously the game's got to make money somehow, you know. But uh, yeah, neither, as long neither, as the battle pass gives cosmetics, yeah. As long as they don't give po certain power ups and everything, then I'm as as long as there's not power creep, I'm fine with a battle battle pass that gives cosmetics and more bonus points if them battle passes don't go away, kind of like what they did in Hell Divers, because all those battle passes or you know, war bonds, they don't go away. They let you work on them as you see fit. Yeah. But the problem is with that one is that's how you get new weapons and armor. But all that yeah, stuff in game, all that stuff you buy within game, um, you buy the battle pass, you could either buy it with real money or save the super credits that you find in the game. Yeah. And then you pay for the stuff in the ba in the war bonds with uh, with medals, so that way you can buy the new gear. So to an extent, I'd let that one go because you could get that stuff by earning it in game with by doing stuff in game. It's a lot yeah. slower, like you're not able to buy the battle pass outright, but you can save your super credits and then buy the the war bonds that way. So to an extent, I can let that one go. And for, but for Apex, I don't know yeah, what these battle the, passes hold. Excuse too is that like like oh our our our, our revenue is going down, so it's like, well the games get a little older, dude. You know? Yeah, new games yeah, are coming out. What happens? Yeah. Like so, this is like a desperate way to get their money back up. Like, I, it's a it's a scummy ca tactic. Yeah. And here's the th here's the problem, every ga great game eventually falls into obscurity. Like one of the best ones ever. Except for your lovely World of Warcraft. Well, th that one just... I don't know how that one's gone as long as it has. But, yeah. like one of the best games ever. Ocarina of Time. I'm sorry, that one's made all the money it's ever going to make way back when. But... Could, I am shocked they haven't done a remake of that. They, they, did, they did put it on the... Um, in oh, I got the 3DS remaster. Then, well, no, the, on the Switch, if you pay yeah. for the N64 um, 
a, uh, expansion pack, then you'll have uh, Ocarina of Time to play, as well as like Super Mario 64. Um, fuck, I can't remember all the games that come on that. Oh, but, okay, we don't need to cover that. Um, yeah, yeah, that. But oh god, two battle passes. That's just gross. So they have made an update since they're like, okay, we may have made a bad idea. I may have been a bad idea. Like, what do you don't say. Uh, so they're trying to correct that, but still, that happened. And they're going to try to get away with that. Oh, no. No one's going to let them forget that. Uh, like, this game, because if this game is still alive 10 years down the line, someone eventually is going to be, hey, you remember that time you made two battle passes for us? Yeah, don't do that again. Uh, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, this one's for, like, you know, more guns. This one's for, for more cosmetics. You know. It's, and if you get both battle passes at the same time, you get five bucks off the, the, the bundle. Oh, fuck that. I just gave the whole bad game and see a bad idea. Uh, yeah, um, that's bad marketing. That, okay, actually, that's shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah. Well, some of them have any feet to uh, you know, shoot. So, uh, well, some of them have shoes, and some of them I'm just like, <laughs> what the hell is with those shoes? That Those are un not practical whatsoever. fucking ever. Um, circling back to the Suicide Squad, because I had a couple other things to say about that one, but we kind of went on too many tangents. <laughs> um, not only is, you know, uh, game developing that for punishment, but, uh, so, um, apparently they, uh, there was big rumor that they were going to bring back the Justice League because they killed him off in the main story. Yeah. Um, and, like, hey, if people were thinking, I guess that would kind of redeem it. But they just, uh, uh, stay like, actually, no, we had no plan of doing that. <clears throat> okay, not good. <laughs> um, and they were going to have a single-player tie-in game to go with it, but that's been canceled now. Yeah. Uh, probably for the best. Yeah, no, I, I think that game, they just... Didn't they say they were going to shut down those servers not too long from now? Yeah, uh, I I think that was us predicting it. Um, I know you were probably right, but I can't... I don't know what's going on. I could have swore I heard that they were shutting down the servers for that game because it was a right. massive flop. I mean, they have, uh, they have like less than 100 players on most days. Yeah, no. It, um, that game's dead. And uh, probably one of the most amusing things, uh, apparently one of the developers had posted, I have no idea where we went wrong. <laughs> yeah. You made a game nobody wanted. saying I think this game would have been fine if it wasn't like a, a live service game that's been like a, a nice you know linear you know single player REO co-op game and <clears throat> maybe didn't don't make it like Saints Row you know and I, I heard no. and I heard like the store was very predatory like I heard it was I don't know if this is true but I heard it was like always you know Saying, oh, buy this and buy that. And I'm just like, ugh, gross. Get it away from me. Hmm. Yeah, no, I like. I don't mind if a game has a, a cash shop and everything. That's fine. Just don't shove it in my face like a lot of mobile games do. Yeah. Like, I know a mob I know some mobile games, they'll be like, uh, hey, if you, uh, do you want to buy this? Um, if not, it's cool. But if you do, it kind of helps us out. Um... And if you say no, and they'll, they'll be like, are you sure? Uh, if they start kind of pressing it, I'm like, I'm uninstalling this. But if it, you say no one time and it doesn't come back. You say oh, no again, are you totally sure? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, like if they come back and you're still playing like a half hour later and they're like, hey, just kind of checking in, seeing if you want this little boost. If not, cool. If if you do, I'm here. Uh, then sometimes they'll be like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll throw down a dollar. But don't make it where it's like every five seconds or every time you clear a level, you know? Yeah. Speaking of uh, asking a lot from the player. Oh, no. Here's our next subject. <clears throat> once human? Yeah, once human, one of the new game, uh, like open, like, uh, I don't know if it's live service or just like a like free to play uh, game. Kind of like First Ascendant. Okay. Um. They were just asking, uh, you know, gamers, hey, can we get some positive reviews? 
And you're like, low down vote. <laughs> Never beg. <laughs> yeah. Also, can I just say the Sonic uh, flag, or the Sonic icon that you have? Yeah. One of the few times Slug is actually kind of adorable. Chibi Slug, <laughs> basically. Yeah. But, yeah, no, don't beg for positive reviews. No good comes out of it. If you want positive reviews, earn them. Do good, you know? Make a game that's fun and enjoyable, because word of mouth is a very popular spreading tool. It's gonna, it's probably more popular than positive, uh, than positive votes on, you know, positive reviews on Steam, because a lot of people, yeah. you know, a lot of people aren't gonna read the, some of these. A lot of people aren't gonna read the reviews. Not like if it's overwhelmingly in one decision or one way, then it might have some merit to it. But if it it comes more powerful. Like, if your friends recommend it to you, you know? Yeah. It's like, if I, if you didn't hear about Speed Freaks from me, if you just heard about Speed Freaks, and I had, and I never said anything about it, would you have tried it? Oh, um, yeah, since we're, we're, like, we're in 40K. <laughs> well, okay, maybe that's a bad example. But, I mean, my point remains. If you get, if it gets recommended to you by a friend, or a colleague, or some, of some, of yours, or something like that, and they vouch for it. More often than not, you're gonna give it. You're you'll give a game you would never, you know, give it given a second look at. You might be like, okay, uh, let's see what they got. Let's see what it's about. You know. And that's how I feel. A game has has more merit to it if a friend vouches for it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, don't be begging for don't be begging for upvotes. Begging never leads to anywhere good. Um, okay, well, something even worse. No, oh, no. Probably one of the worst things a, uh, a, a company could do. Oh, no, Humble Bumble? Uh, yeah. Also, uh, my, um, my consultant fund is, like, one of her favorite thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but, uh, yeah, no, sl devil till, or devil slug. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed she has f flames in her eyes. I've never noticed that. Yeah, in, in the gift version, they actually you can see the flames flicker in her eyes. I never noticed that. That's adorable. Um, so, the Humble Games Division, I'm not sure if the Humble Bundle's going away. I don't see the bundles going away, but apparently they had a Games Division. <laughs> All of them got fired oh, without no. notice. Oh, fuck. That that sounds like something that happened to another dev studio, not to, or no, to another studio not too long ago that I heard about. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about that. Let's go, right? We're like, studios are getting shut down left and right. It's um, but, because the, but, yeah. a, lot, a lot of these games are not turning a profit. But it would be nice to get a heads up for, um, you know, your boss just lets you go. Oh, yeah, it'd be, definitely be nice. But, I mean, as someone who's had that, I've had that happen to me before, it sucks. Trust me. Oh, you came to the office one day you couldn't get in? Mm. No, 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 no. I went, I was working, it was in the, at the job I had before this one. Um... I worked maybe half that day, and I just got back from uh, picking up parts from uh, one of our suppliers. Yeah. And as soon as I unloaded the truck and um, put the stuff in our inventory, my boss basically said, "Hey, um, we're letting you go. Everything's get a lot of people are getting laid off because of Rona." And I was like, "Okay, well." Can I have a few minutes to get get my stuff? He's like, "Oh yeah, definitely. Take your time, dude, and um, get all your gather all your stuff and all that, and then uh, call call your roommate to come pick you up." And I did that, and I shook. What made me mad is the owner of the company knew I was. He saw me pull back in, and he left and didn't tell me himself. Yeah. And I, I'm like, "Did he know I was here?" He's like, "Oh yeah," and he's like, "Why didn't he at least?" shake my hand or anything like that and the, the manager was like i don't know so bad guy, I guess. oh yeah he was a yeah he was a shitter and i don't i have no respect for him whatsoever uh, but uh i shook my manager's hand i shook my co-worker's hand and uh you know i told him hey i had a good time when i was here and um i was uh on unemployment for six months and then uh started this job uh three years ago in february so this coming February, I'll be with this company for four years. 
and Rona fucked a lot of people up. Like, even a couple companies I was big fans of. Like, like I, I was a big fan of Fantasy Network, but they never recovered from Corona. Yeah, no, it's, companies. Um, it's a damn shame. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, the whole bullshit with my cousin family having to cram to my house for, and, you know, fucking up my life a little bit. Uh, you know, he said that if it wasn't for that damn pandemic, he never would have came back to Florida. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't realize how bad Rona fucked over people and... Uh, trust me, I I lasted it so long, and and this was after all the uh, everything was starting to get lifted, and as well. Yeah. I um, cause I remember I was working during the uh the height of the pandemic, uh, and you know fucking walking around with a damn mask on, uh, yeah. But uh, I never really used. Um, but like, uh, people would get be like, "You're so brave for working." I'm like, I ain't no, I I, I like, I ain't no fucking hero, cause I. I could think of like a million people that probably want to be where I'm at now, where it get a fucking paycheck. Yeah. You know, I'm not special. Yeah. You know, I'm one of the lucky ones. I've had I I had people say, "Oh, y'all are you guys are uh, such essential workers. You guys are so brave for still working." I was like, "I don't have a choice. I'm still yeah. working." Yeah. Like I, I yeah, it's like you know, a lot of these people are not working because they're fucking scared. Yeah. You know? They're working because it's fucking you know, they're. they're your fucking jobs are scared. You know what made me? You know what made me laugh during the whole thing? What? You know how everybody was uh, shitting bricks for uh, toilet paper being scarce? Yeah. My roommate, um, he works at a convenience store and everything. He's able to buy like a big box of toilet paper at price. Yeah. So we never once had to stress about it. And everyone's like, "Oh my god, what are we gonna do without the toilet paper shortage?" Blah blah. And I was like. I don't know what the fuck you bitching about. I'm I'm good. Me and my roommate, we're good. <laughs> I heard some people just post on like, Twitter, like, come on, guys, I need a shit. Yeah. Um, I know one girl had to flash her titties to get a roll of toilet paper. That's desperate. Uh, yeah. Um, I, me, uh, literally, because I worked at the gro- a grocery store, so I was able to uh, buy some, but they're like, can you, like, you know, like, hide it in, like, a trash bag on your way out? When you yeah. So, yeah, they maybe had to hide the, the toilet paper and uh, if I was buying some. That's funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, we're far from Corona now. Yeah. That shouldn't be an excuse uh, for Humble Games. Yeah. Like, literally, um, let your people break the news. You know, give them time to, you know, cope and prepare. You know. That, uh, that's one of the reasons, and I get shit for this uh, for this uh, standing, but I'm like, I don't give a shit. Um, it's, um, everyone's like, oh, well, you got to give two weeks notice professionally uh, before you le- leave to go find another job. I was like, why? A company's not going to give you two weeks notice to get you ready to try to find another job before they fire you. Why should I extend the same courtesy? And everyone's like, oh, that, well, that's unprofessional. I was like, yeah? How do you think it helps? Or how, what do you think it makes people feel whenever they go to work and they just get shit canned for no reason? Why Why should I give them two weeks notice to try to find, for me to try to train a replacement for me um, when they're just going to, when they could just shit can me outright with no warning whatsoever? Yeah, it's like, how long until uh, yeah, your, your job go, you know, it goes up on you? Yeah. You know? notice yeah yeah so they're already looking for a replacement you know they're not gonna be there when you're on your deathbed they're not gonna be there at your funeral you don't owe them some kind of fucking loyalty yeah everyone's yeah. like oh well you're supposed to be family at your job it's like you're not your fan they're not your family you're there to get it do a job and you're there to get paid you owe them nothing more than that yeah i say yeah they're not gonna wait any longer than a day to try to replace you so yeah. you're not family to them yep yeah i, I get that uh, so, yeah, um, you kind of, uh, at least should have had the balls to say, hey, uh, we'd let you go, and like, we can't afford to give you efforts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my, my uh, heart goes out to the, you know, humble games and everything, and I hope every, yeah. I hope all those guys, you know, bounce back up on their feet and find something. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, and here's a game that your friends play that you don't like, and it's probably my, my favorite of thumbnails. <laughs> you ready for this one? Let's see it. Yeah, Seven Days of Die just got fully released not too long ago. Yep. 
he's like, hello, fellow kids. Yeah. I'm also a new re released game. Yeah, no, it, it's funny. <laughs> also, I do love this out, this the thumbnail that you made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the beanie hat and the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, fellow kids? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, apparently it was in, what was it, beta, alpha, whatever the fuck you call it? Uh, it's, it's been in, or... it's been in open, it's been in beta for what? It feels like 10 years it's been in beta. Yeah, for over 3,000 days since 2013. Yeah, no, that's ele that, that's eleven years, and, and now it's brand new again. This, like, oh, like okay, to an extent, I understand doing you know open beta, early access on Steam. If you want players to get into it and kind of grow attached to the game before it's finally released, that's fine. Um, just, and I do like they're like, basically say, hey, this game is in early access, there's going to be bugs, there's going to be glitches, we'll, we'll work past it, or we'll work, uh, what we're going to, if you let us know, we'll get them fixed as quick as we can. I get that, I dig that, and if, you know, if they had to slap a price on it, I, I, I wish it would be kind of reduced instead of full price on some, like some of these games are doing. Yeah. But at least they're not charging you again. Whenever the game is fully released, it's like, hey, you bought this one. Is there early access? We're not going to make you pay for it again. And like what they did with Baldur's Gate, I wish a lot of more companies would do this. Have a little something extra because you helped us out in early access, you know? Yeah. You know, kind of like how uh, FF14 had for some stuff for the legacy players. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's like, hey, uh, you were here for the worst of it. Ha have, have something unique. Um... Every five wow did something like, hey, you were here for our lawsuit days. Here's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were here during vanilla. Here, have this. And I was like, I, I was here in vanilla. <laughs> uh, but, and I I'll say this. I actually in have been playing First Descended a fair amount. I like it. It's not bad. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's it's a typical kind of runner shooter, runner gunner and everything. Well, now it's older than seven days to die. Yeah, no, it is older. Yes. Technically, it's older than Seven Days to Die as far as release dates are concerned. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know if I see a post tomorrow like, uh, 14 Days to Die uh, due to release 2040, but Open Beta starts tomorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I got nothing against Seven Days. I just I just got kind of got burnt out on it. Um, and yeah, you didn't like the, uh, the crafting farming aspect. Well, it was a little complicated. Yeah. Uh, um, so if it was more like that seventh day, you'd be more into it. Kind of. Uh, I mean, that seventh day is when the horde shows up, and it it sh they show up in waves and attack your base, and you have to try to survive. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. That's fun, and the other six days, yeah, there are ho zombies walking about, but they're not real bad, Like, and you're trying to scrounge out supplies to survive and improve the base and everything. That's all fine. It just, I don't know. I kind of got burnt out on it. I get that. Oh. But yeah, the morons have been playing a lot of Seven Days to Die. They made their own server, and they've been having a fun time with it. And I'm like, hey, more power to you, boys. I, I'm all for it. It just, yeah. I kind of got burnt out on it as well. All right, I will go bathroom real quick. Mm-hmm. Go get a drink if you need it.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Welcome back. Okay, you want to do a positive or negative uh, one next? Um, let's do the negative and get that one out of the way. Okay, this one kind of chapped my ass. I... I have no idea. Okay. Basically, uh, That's SAG AFTRA, uh, which is a, uh, a big, um, you know, uh, left wing, um, you know, like, a, a union company, uh, where, like, a lot of, like, game studios that are, and, um, voice actors get behind the union, essentially, for voice actors. Okay. Because uh, my so, first thought when I said, saw SAG, and my first thought was, was the Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. Screen Actors Guild. Okay. Okay, I'm vaguely familiar with them then, yeah. Yeah. And so, um, but yeah, there, there was another big strike because now, uh, um, basically, uh, game companies want to replace voice actors with AI. I, yeah, I heard something about this. I didn't get a chance to read up on the whole story. I know yeah. that some of them, and rightfully so, like, I don't think anything, a, a lot of things should have be replaced with AI. Yeah. Um... But, like, especially voice actors, like voices yeah. and whatnot, I don't think voices should be replaced with AI. Because, yeah, AI has come very, very far in a short distance where it's been relevant, you know? Yeah. But it's, it doesn't really give the whole, you know, the whole f feel of voice. You know, you, don't, you can't really, yeah. like, the bad thing, it's kind of like the joker you can't savor all the little emotions like you know, it kind of makes me wonder why people created ai in the first place because if we're, if we're if we don't want to replace anything yeah like it's supposed to make things some a lot of things supposed to be simpler and everything but you know i don't know it's just and then what happened was the uh, SAG AFTRA basically folded on the negotiations very quickly, pissing a lot of people off. 
Like, great, you kind of failed us, you know? Like, so basically, fuck both of them. AI and SAG. Yeah. Oh, hold on. They basically gave in say, saying that they're not going to replace people with AI, or they are going to replace people with AI? Uh, I gotta find the proper wordage, but, like, essentially, uh, they're, they're being, they're rolling over for, uh, for the AI. Oh, they're okay. Like, uh, they're like, oh, it's a within reason, or something. They're basically giving some kind of jargon bullshit line. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's like, no, it's even no AI, uh, you know, at all, you know? You know, uh, but, um, and so, yeah, it's like, the, the strike didn't even last, like, you know, like, it's like a month. At least the last time it lasted a little while. Yeah, the last time the Screen, the, the screen Actors Guild had a uh, strike hit, yeah. it lasted several months, if not a year, right? Oh, yeah, they're like, um, probably not a year, but they're like, uh, uh, like, you know, please don't play specific games to support these shitty companies, and, uh, I remember, like, Brantley Mulligan was kind of, like, you know, just, like, run d d games to, uh, during the strikes outside, you know, people and stuff. Yeah. You know, just trying to raise morale. You know, like, it, it got kind of dramatic. Um, and I still think they kind of uh, bit the knee a little, but it wasn't as bad as this. Like, mm. uh, like they barely put over a fire. Like, uh, I, did, I don't know what uh, line of bullshit they're fed, but they bought it. Um, and it's like, well, you know what, uh, I'm not going to take your that strike seriously, you know. Hopefully, uh, these actors can find a better union. I mean, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, I... Oh, no, I was going to say that there was one the incident with AI. Um, it was basically uh, where, um, and this is during with anime, anime and manga and everything, where uh, people were um, uh, deliberately missed translating uh, what was said in the manga or the anime to something else. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you saw the whole Kobayashi made the made uh, Kobayashi Dragon Maid thing going on. Right. Uh, yeah, like, I was okay with that. I personally don't agree with them changing the lines like that because it's basically saying it's basically saying to the East it's like, hey, we know what's better for we know what's better than you do, so we're going to deliberately change uh, what you have made and basically kind of steal or basically uh, bastardize the translations. And I was like, a lot of people don't want this. They want, you know... And I know one-to-one to one translations yeah. are never going to happen. Something's always going to get lost in translation. Yeah, or censored. But uh, but I, uh, me being the hardcore feminist and stuff, I was totally okay with it. Um, but... Uh... The problem is there was also lines, you know, that people have actually gone on and said, you know, you could use these other lines instead of this one line, and yeah. it, it just became a whole shit show, and now, and now a lot of people are saying, well, we're just going to translate um, manga from uh, to AI, or using AI instead of the, getting these localizers. You know, um... Yeah, so I mean, I'm going on the local side, uh, out, of, out of politics, but like, uh, uh, you know, kind of explain how like sometimes I see the elaborate on the wokeness too much. Like that one, they don't think they put elaborate on enough. Like it, like it was just felt like a weird uh, battle for you know us wokies to pick. Yeah. Cause like, why just one random line in like the middle of the season? You know, like you should just try to censor like and correct the entire anime, like actually fight, you know, and change the shit, you know, instead of, instead of this one line, you know. And I ended up in, in the middle of the season, you know. So, you know. And so it was like it wasn't a plot important scene or nothing, either. It was like, it was like a filler episode too, you know. It was like, yeah, I think that the whole yeah. thing was a filler, but it it was one of the things. It was the principle of the thing. Is like don't yeah. start changing things. Don't basic basically don't put words in the character's mouth that the character didn't say, you know. I would say if you're gonna change, like you know, change more than that, you know. Uh, I was saying like uh. It was like that, it was like what we were uh, talking about a while back. Is like ha how they like the, uh, for lack of, uh, I don't care. It was how, basically, kind of like how they look at the t their teens as their golden years and whatnot, or their gl uh, yeah. glory years. Glory years. That's what I'm thinking. Not not yeah. golden. Golden is the end of the life. Um. Yeah. I got them backwards. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, they kind of uh, uh, fantasize. Uh, romanticize their teens uh, to a point where you know where it's 
they kind of start where it kind of gets a little bit weird. Yeah. And we're just like, um, where they are making like all, a lot of the, um, characters are like really young, like below the age of consent young. Yeah. And I know, I know we went on a tirade about that one as well. Yeah. Cause what I'm saying is like, in that, in that same character that they gave a woke line to, it's like, she's still like smothering an underage kid of her titties in that show. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, like I said, the, like, what's the kid, show of, And the kid's like, name is Shoda, like Shoda Khan and everything. I'm like, oh, uh, Lordy. yeah, that it one was, that one was fucking on the nose on that one. Me, yeah, like, oh, it was just a hill to worth die on. Uh, but, uh. But, yeah, it's just a whole, like. Yeah, now, like, one, one change I do approve, I think, it, uh, which, uh, like, one of the countries, I think it was China. But basically, uh, it's apparently in season two. There's a, there's like, like a lolly with like enormous titties, and yeah. China, they managed to actually uh, like erase the big ass titties. I'm like she actually looks pretty normal. I like I like that change. Yeah, you know, like that's a decent change. You know, instead you have to have awkward big boob uh, shirt buttons pop off. Yeah. On a lolly jokes. I'm like, like like okay like I approve that change. You know. Yeah, like that one. I'm I'm not a big fan of the lolly stuff either. So I, like when that one I'm I'm kind of with, but at yeah. the same time it's like, it. Is like that's how the char- these characters were created, and it's kind of bastardizing them to kind of change them in such a grandiose way, you know. Like yeah. to an to an extent, I understand not wanting to, you know, basically put ginormous tits on a lolly. Yeah. Because a lolly is just a petite body. That's that's yeah. all it is. It's just a. It could be a woman who's you know, twenty or something, but very you know, very small body. You know, yeah. very slim, very, for lack of a better term, very flat. I mean, I mean, they might have, you know, A-cups and whatnot, but... Yeah, it's like, there's just technically a proper lollycon out there, but it's like, uh, 95% of anime doesn't show what a proper lolly looks like. Or is, you know? Like... Like, it, it's always an underage kid. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, like, uh, because I can always think of, like, maybe one anime where there's actually a proper lolly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, um... I guess uh, let's move on to something that both uh, the wokes and the anti wokes hate. Okay, let's see what you got. Corporate greed. Oh God. So um, basically, we have the next four uh, game stories talking all about money. Okay, uh, this one's a easy as fuck. Bioshock. Yeah. What's going on with that? Look at the details here. See. Let me see. Oh no! Are they doing a, a a series of for Bioshock or a movie? Well, they're doing a movie. However, as you see by the bottom left there, they slashed the budget for it. Okay, to some extent, I can understand. Movies and series have gotten ridiculously expensive these days. Yeah, but so it could be now it can become really good or really bad. But here's you know, the thing uh, with Bioshock is like, you're gonna need some of that expensive stuff, especially if you're doing, you know, all the fucking junk. Um, oh god. Yeah, like Bioshock is like fifty percent atmosphere. Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, it's an environmental horror game, and I loved it. Yeah, yeah, it's not a game that takes place in an apartment building or a village. Yeah, no, uh, this uh, is yeah. in an underwater city. Yeah. Oh man, like I can see so many sound sets, a lot of fucking water pumped in, well, probably some green screen, for like, like maybe it'll probably digitally add in the buildings in the background. Like, like in the, I, but, I, uh, I'm gonna, I hope if this if this is true, if they do make this, I'm, and I know it's, I I don't, I really want this to happen. I'd rather them use practical effects more than CGI, because practical yeah. effects are always gonna look a lot better. I need to watch that Alien Romulus. I still have yet to see it. Oh. But, Maybe. I mean, even, like, I'm sorry, they gotta make, if they're gonna do this, like, if they're gonna base it off the game, like, um, where you're playing as, uh, like, the if you're playing the first one, where you're playing the, um, the, fr- the main character, I can't remember his name anymore, um, and he has oh. to fight, like, the big daddies and everything, 
Yeah. You better make those big daddies intimidating as all hell. And, yeah, and uh, make the little sisters creepy. Like, do oh, yeah, like, do it right. Like, uh, cause, uh, even like the, uh, the Fallout stuff, uh, it, what it did add in was, it was a little off. It yeah. was a little off, but they did, they did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it shows, shows me, it was, it was a seven. Yeah. You know, oh, uh, it was like, a solid seven, six and a half, seven, right in that ballpark. Yeah. It was good, it's like, but it wasn't great. Yeah. Like, I feel like the uh, the armor uh, should have been a little more intimidating, but... Uh, yeah, the power and, armor, and I think it should yeah. have been clunkier. That, yeah, and, you know, you know us, all we wanted to see was, like, one scene of a fucking Deathclaw. Fuck! And, proper and Death then, Claw. at the very last episode, then you see a skull of one, and I'm like, don't tease us like this! Yeah. Ugh, and then, it, uh, uh, then in the final shot is a new Vegas and everything, and I'm like, okay. Let's, let, I hope they do Mr. House right. And I didn't realize this until afterwards where it said Robco. That was Mr. House. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I looked. Uh, I was like, they didn't. They, did they really put Mr. House in there? And I was like, president of Robco before the bombs dropped. And it said Robert House. And I was like, that's Mr. House. I was like, oh, shit. I, that's why I play Fallout. I need like to kind of like read all those text logs to immerse myself the in the world. The problem is my only exposure is a, a little bit of four, all not all of New Vegas, but a good part of New Vegas, and uh, clips and some of, watching some of my friends play uh, seventy six. I only played three and four. Uh, apparently, New Vegas was the uh, the one you had to play. Yeah, uh, which wasn't even made by Bethesda. Fucking Obsidian made it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, um, uh, and part of me feels like, well, maybe it's been like five years too late or something, because Fallout was a little while ago. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, hopefully people will care, and hopefully, you know, people who make it are, will care and can pull it off. Yeah, hopefully yeah. it'll be better than Borderlands. Yeah, I, I recently watched that movie. I gave it a five. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I, I, it's funny. I still like it more than, um, than, like a was it a Madam Web, yeah, but just barely. Yeah, but as yeah. I say, not a high bar to cross on that one though. Yeah. But yeah, um, I I hope if they do this, I hope they do it right. I hope the sc the scenery is you know uh, um off putting because that's how you always were supposed to feel. That and claustrophobic. Um, yeah, that intro is pretty awesome. Though. Oh, the intro yeah. is great. The plane crash and having to go. And then actually seeing Rapture when you go down the elevator. Yeah. Yeah, no. Like, I, I hope they I'm do not that. Sure. As I, I, really, I probably wouldn't have gone in that elevator. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, the problem is, you know, you don't have much choice. You're yeah, on I might have, like, fished out some of the luggage and just, like, just stayed in that little hallway for a while. Like, hopefully, the like, rescue comes. <laughs> I'll at least 24 hours, you know? Yeah. Before you go down yeah. the elevator? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyways, okay, so. Next up, uh, Money Troubles. Uh, this one goes to our friends at Nintendo. Okay. I wish I had that much money. <laughs> just, just... But what are they getting downvoted for now? Uh, apparently, Switch profits are down 75%. What do you expect? It's, it's an old console now. It's a little long in the tube. I mean, it's moving around since 2017. I mean, it's, 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 yeah, you're right. I'm gonna say it's oh, it's a little long in the tooth now, but come on. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem. The a console's only gonna be popular for so long before the next thing, you know, it's that whole the that whole saying, um, just consume product and get excited for next product. Or don't ask yeah. questions. Consume product and get excited for next product. It's, it's like. We keep seeing like where these uh, these games like say of uh, you know um, Hell Divers like uh, and these companies like you know we're losing money or we're not making as much money our Apex you know yeah it's like okay after six months it's time to move on yeah you know, if for a console generation after six years it's definitely time to move on yeah yeah for like a more live service game I guess like Apex what's what's a, what's a proper time to move on you say mm, two years. Three just to be safe. 
Yeah, three because, years, and then it's time to start for make, building your next game in the background. Because in three years, a lot of stuff could come out. Yeah. And you're going to get dethroned. Yep. Eventually, every game will get dethroned. Uh, okay, you ready for something that um, apparently never made money in the first place? What's that? This is what we talked about before. <laughs> Oculus? <laughs> Uh, or some meta, uh, quest or whatever. Um, Close enough. There. I remember that, that that VR company that wanted to you know replace cell phones. And yeah. Just, you, know, you walk around with a VR headset on your head. And yep. with the reality. Yeah. Yeah. Where you look where you look dorky as all hell. So um, try and guess how much money they're losing. Is it millions? Higher. Billions. Yeah. Five? Four billion every quarter. Quarter? Yeah. God! Sixteen billion dollars a year. Immediately pull the fucking plug. Like, can't you buy, like, Amazon or Mike? Can you buy one of these big-ass companies for that money and get in the game's arms race? Yeah. For that money. For one year of lost it profits. Oh, oh God! Yeah. See why it's angry. Like it's getting to the like some of these games, like some of these profits, or the these losses, they're getting to the yeah. getting to that point where it's absurd now. Yeah, I remember like you know like zero point one percent. I remember when I inherited like sixty thousand dollars. Like this is the most money I'm ever going to see in my life. Yeah. Sixteen billion. Yeah. That. I. The what are these? Dude, what are these companies bought. thinking when they're not? If they're like, you lose a million, that'd be like, if I was in charge of these companies and I lost a million, I'd be like, what the fuck do we gotta do? What? Give me. Let's talk shop here, people. Like, oh, it's like like Donald Trump once bought the WWE for one billion. Yeah. Yeah, but he only had it for like what was it a week? Yeah. Still, the WWE time was worth two billion. Yeah, something like that. So eight times that, or eight, yeah, um, and a year, like, so, like, so it's like, you know, the amount of, like, uh, the amount of stuff you could buy for, like, you know, 16 million. Like, yeah. Like, imagine what you could buy for 16 billion. Yeah, no. You know, corporations and so many, you could buy lives. Yeah, at, that, at 16 billion dollars? Fucking like, hell, you could, you could probably dude, buy, you could probably buy a small country. I was about to say that, yeah, with conversion rates, you could probably buy some countries. Oh, oh God. That... Yeah. What are these companies thinking? Yeah, the cost of living, you could probably get by, I'll say, if you had, like, say, $2 billion in your bank account, if you're kind of frugal, you'd be fine. These guys, yeah, it's like, yeah. What is that? Uh, oh, a couple of million. Uh, oh, a couple of million? Oh, that's peasant money. Oh, uh, fucking hell, man. More money than my whole family combined ever made. Fucking right. Uh, like if I had sixteen billion dollars, I could probably. I well, no, I probably wouldn't be able to buy Texas. I could probably buy Oklahoma. Yeah, or at least buy like you know a Texas sports team or something. Yeah, I could probably buy the Cowboys for that much. Oh, man. I could probably buy California, but who would want to buy that? <laughs> that thing's always oh, yeah. that always thing that thing's always catching on fire or is getting hit by earthquakes. Yeah, I know that that that's just a loss at that point. God. Yeah. Oh God. Ugh. Maybe that's where they got their money stored. And yep. That's why it's on fire. Maybe. So. <laughs> yeah. It makes like, sense. Meanwhile, today I'm like, should I get the the other humble bundle for five more bucks? Can I got paid. Got to, I got to eat off of that, yeah. Like, I'm trying to say if I want to get the $5 or the $10 Humble Bundle. That, but, you know, if we're like, huh, do I want to blow another $40 billion next year? You know, like, the, the, the difference in decisions we got to make. Right. You know, these, between these people. Yeah, you know? two, these two lives are not like the other. Yeah. Uh, like, they live in another, they live in a completely different world than we do, dude. They live in clearly augmented reality. Cl yeah. Clearly, they're wearing their fucking glasses. Oh, man. Oh. Can you imagine, like, the ring around your head if you, like, wore one for, like, weeks? Yeah. Oh, like, God. 
Oh, Just that band rubbing against your hairline and everything? You'd have a fucking yeah. bald spot around this, around your whole head. You'd look even more dorky. Oh, man. Uh, so, good luck with that. Yeah, no, um, I think they're fucking donezo. I, I think, I, I have like a lot of old stuff might make Eli must blush, you know? Yeah, even he would be like, uh, you need to change something. Something's obviously not working. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh. Like I said, some of these losses are getting re- to the point where it's absurd. And it's just like, how do you not see this loss? And you're like, maybe we need a battle change. Maybe we need a different battle plan. Which kind of sums up our next story here. Dead knee. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Yeah, they're pissing away money, too. Yeah, but I think uh, they had to let go, like. 200 employees. Uh, yeah, that's the one I was talking about earlier when they said this, uh, they just outright shit can a whole bunch of people. Yeah, it was fucking Bungie who did it. Yep, and like I think uh, 17% of them were, uh, were working on uh, Destiny 2. Yeah. Which is a lot of people, apparently. Um, I mean, 17% doesn't sound like a whole lot of people, but 200 people, when you actually put take it out of a percentage and actually put a number to it, yeah, 200 people, that's a lot of people. And like, uh, yeah. So basically, like, basically, like their final DLC is gonna be, gonna make or break them. Uh, Cause there's rumors that they want to make a Destiny three. No, it ain't uh, happening. Yeah. No, I, I yeah. think they've burned a lot of the loyalty that their fans had, and like the yeah. only ones who are playing are like the absolute diehards right now. And I don't think they're going to have enough dollar reduce to pump out, uh, to make um, Destiny 3 even hit a profit or even come close to hitting a prop, making a profit. That, yeah, like, so, that game is... So they definitely better take away their autonomy and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, no, that game is perpetually in the red. Oh, uh, how long until they get, uh, you know, <laughs> assigned as punishment? <laughs> <laughs> what other... Well, hell, 303, or 343, the guys who were in charge of Halo... They, um, they're basically given, uh, not going to be able to do much with Halo anymore. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I heard something. Oh, fuck. It's like, they're not even in charge of a lot of the stuff for Halo anymore. Like, if it is, if they are given anything with Halo, it's like the new stuff. Like, they dropped Infinite almost completely. Um, and the only thing I've played from them is uh, the Master Chief Collection because my buddy Dalton bought it for me. Yeah. And I mean, I've I had fun when we played together and everything because we'll play a lot of the custom games or, you know, just play against each other in matches and whatnot. But yeah, it's... Yeah, no. the And a part of it is... Um, I know that they broke away from Activision. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I remember when that was a whole thing. It's like, hey, congrats on breaking away from Activision. Now you got to make money on your own. And their solution, DLC, battle passes, cosmetics. And it was, the prices were, from what I heard, were like really high. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, um, tone down the price. We, we might talk shop. And then um, I think Sony owns them now. Yeah. I think Sony owns Bungie. And uh, then uh, jobs started getting cut. It's just one of those things like you got to make it. If you're going to make a product, you got to make something worth buying and don't make it. uh, Don't put stuff in there that gamers don't that people don't want. And a lot of us okay. don't ask for much. A lot of us just want a good story, decent control or decent gameplay, decent uh, controls. Um, some game, some games they want you know, online multiplayer. Some of them for couch co, some couch co-op. Some just want a single player story. Some want an online game. I mean, it's. I know I say it's not hard to give us what we want, but 
It's, um, I know a lot goes behind gaming, you know, making a game, and a lot more I do not know. But in the grand scheme of things, we don't want a whole lot. Yeah. And it's not that hard to please us, you know? Yeah, like, even, like, just a kind of gesture, almost. Like, um, uh, like, uh, for example, if, uh, to kind of prepare us for our up- upcoming, like, Great Wealth Debate, um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like, the whole, uh, how, like, uh, some people are bitching how, like, oh, they're ugly fine, like, women characters, uh, just to make people, uh, just to please the trans folks. You know, um, like, well, I, my take is that it's kind of like a little bit in the middle where like um, yeah I think there should be trans folks in like every video game but and not like you know just some random NPC in the hallway like you know but they don't have to basically like uh, you can make them as part of the character creator or some one of the squad mates one of the main staff yeah they don't uh, but like, say is they don't have to de- de- uh, include trans folks but it doesn't have to be at the expense of beautiful cis women right we, and, like, I mean, that, if both can exist in the real world why can't they exist in your game world right like yeah. I would have no problem with that. It's like, um, like a, let's just take an RPG. Like, yeah. Let's just take Baldur's Gate, for example, because it's yeah. a very popular RPG. Yeah. Um, let's just say, oh, I don't fucking know. Like, let's put House in. Big Bear Daddy, as everyone calls yeah. it. Yeah. If he was trans, as long as his character is well written, has good yeah. voice acting, decent controls for, you know, how to play him. Yeah. I wouldn't have an issue with it. Yeah, and then again, you have the character creator. You can make your your own non-binary, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a game both our sides agree on, yeah. Oh, yeah, like like, like I said, I don't care if someone is, is trans in the game. Yeah. The problem is, um... Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, it's like, not, not every woman has to be, like, you know, so, like, butch or weird looking. Yeah. You know, uh, like, just like, make one of them. Yeah, yeah you know? like, I don't mind, it. like, I've seen a lot of, um, I've seen, I've seen ugly, uh, I hate using the term, um, but I've seen ugly cis women, beautiful cis women, ugly trans women, ugly trans, or beautiful trans women, I've seen ugly and beautiful on every, whatever, from every walk of life. Yeah. That's just the nature of the beast. Yeah, like, you're gonna have you're gonna have beautiful people and you're gonna have ugly people, and then there's yeah. gonna be po- people in the middle. Yeah, and even developers they just want to you know make like regular like the women too, you know, and women have the agency of their own bodies. It doesn't always have to be about big titty genital physics, right? You know, but I think we can literally make both. It is so you know, I, I, fit any, I think you fit both into any video game. Oh yeah, video game. and I've seen like some of the people I've like some of the devs I've seen. And they file behind this uh, this uh, defense. Well, it's hard to make a uh, rendition of a real pa- person's face. I'm like, really? Look at Star Wars, um, Lone or Survivor. Uh, the oh, one. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 not that one. The other one. Uh, Jedi Survivor. Yeah, Jedi Survivor. Thank you. The the character. Uh, I forget his name. The Jedi that you play. Oh, Cal. 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 Thank you. Cal looks exactly like his model. Yeah. And then you have, um... Oh, excuse me. Fucking hell. Um, then you have, for Outlaw, the woman um, who she was modeled after looks nothing yeah. like the Avatar. And the Avatar, in some frames, looks like Matt Damon from Team America World Police. <laughs> I think she looks all right. But, uh... But, you know. It's like it's like, but also in in the Jazz Fire, it's like you know, um, yeah, you got uh, yeah, you got the black woman who definitely needs to eat a cheeseburger. She's so gaunt. Yeah, I, I, a hot cop chick. Yeah, I see. I saw pictures of her. I was like, how the hell does she not break with a strong breeze? Yeah, um, but uh, uh, like, like I said, I, I think you clearly because uh, the world has beautiful people and has woke people and has us. You know, trans folks. Is, uh, basically, uh, you can make, you know, a, a staff of you know, characters big enough. Oh, yeah. And also, it doesn't need to be realistic, because like, we were talking about Square Enix. Um, you know, the, the Final Fantasies are getting too, like, hyper-realistic. It's costing them too much money. Yeah. it take it, down it, these graphics. Yeah, no, it's, get, it's getting to a point where there's an uncal- uncanny valley with it. Yeah. Like, some of the female Hrothgar, don't get me wrong, I think they're beautiful, but there is a little bit of an uncanny valley with it, you know? Yeah, like, I was saying this back in fucking Force Unleashed on the Xbox 360. 
you can see every fucking wrinkle and mole on like the old dude's face, but all the women look like they're wearing space cosmetics. They're right. Perfect. You know, so it's like you know, literally, it's like uh, fight about to include everybody. It's not that hard. And one you know? and one thing I'll say, um, yeah. <clears throat> fucking hell, sorry about this. I'm sorry with all my coughing and everything. I'm trying to hit my push the mute button. Um, I've seen a lot of people, um, cry for, you know, um, for diversity as far as the L- LGBT, yeah. uh, stuff is concerned. I don't, yeah. I don't say the whole thing. That's, I, I, my ADD will take over and I'll wander off with that, trying to remember the whole damn thing. Mm-hmm. But everyone's like, I, you know, I say LGBT, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't care anymore. That's, that's, no, that, that's as far I, as my ADD goes with it. The QIA plus is premium game. Yeah. But it's one of those things. I don't care if you're gay, straight, trans, non-binary, whatever the all the other stuff is. I really don't give a shit. I don't care who you are, what's between your legs, what you identify as. The I, I'm all live and let live. You know, you do you. As long as you ain't hurting anybody and, and ain't diddling yeah. kids, I don't give a damn. You do you. Have fun with your stuff. The thing that kind of, I don't know, I guess kind of grates on my nerves about it, because I'm, bi- I'm bisexual, and I I don't subscribe to the whole thing, because some of the communities on that are really toxic, and I'm like, ugh. But you're always going to have, oh, yeah. you're going to have toxic co- communities no matter where you go. Yes. But yeah. the, the thing that grinds on my nerves is when it's their, the entire personality it's like you have no other personality. It was like, well, what do you like? Oh, I'm gay. Wonderful. That doesn't tell me, you know, what do you like? Do you like music, games, books, uh, cars, um, airplanes, same guns? Sex. Pardon? I like the same sex. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like when it's they don't have a personality of their own, you know? Yeah, it's like... Uh... It's like when you see, it's like they make a fat character and Eden is his whole identity. Like, come on, man. Yeah, it's like, come on, dude. It's like, give the fat guy something else to work with. I mean, everybody knows yeah. the fat guy is fat. Whoop de doo. Yeah. And I yeah. and I don't want to hear people say, oh, well, Tydonis is fat phobic. Bitch, fat calls fat fat. I'll call fat because I am fat. I always wanted to see like, them try to make like a serious attribute with like a fat guy and then try to take it completely serious. You know, like, why can't we get something like that? Fucking right! Uh, like, oh, and since we just since we uh, talked about it, uh, our next topic. Oh, oh yeah, because Baldur's Gate is not like yeah, Larian's not doing Baldur's Gate four. Apparently, they had the game like over halfway done. Yeah, and then uh, Wizards of the Coast had to fuck around and lay off all of uh, uh, Sven's uh, consultants from Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, Wizard of the Coast tried to sabotage them so many times. I don't blame them for being like, uh, we don't want to make it. Yeah, even they're, they're like, we're not touch- We're not doing Baldur's Gate 4. We would love to, but we're not going to. We're going to do our own thing now. Uh, let's see here. Tell me, like, some of the notes here. Like, yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah, Larry and Serio was super open about shit that, uh, would have gotten most developers, uh, blacklisted. And, but it got away from only because, uh, everyone was so angry at Wizard of the Coast. Because, you know, they tried, f- uh, cut funding, uh, about a dozen times, but Larian threatened lawsuits twice to keep the game from getting canceled after sinking so much of their own resources into it. Yes, uh, yeah, and they're a pri- they're not a publicly traded company; they're a privately owned corporation, yeah. and so they have the final say of what they make. Yeah, they don't have, and that's where a lot of the developers are uh, have problems with now, is because they're publicly owned, and all yeah. they have to appease the shareholders. Yeah, but Larian were like. Nah, bro. We do what we want. We own our company. Yeah, but it was kind of funny too. Like a lot of this whole uh, modern stuff uh, happened because, like, a lot of these um, like uh, higher ups were telling the developers, "Yeah, you guys sexify these females and stuff," you know. And now they're now they're doing the opposite yeah. these days. Like even like, Micro- like, Microsoft has basically gone out and say, "Don't make women." Uh, 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 real curve, uh, like show like feminine curves and everything, yeah, and kind of tone down the beauty of them. I'm like, why? It's, it's like one of those things. Like, my gripe is like, 
they're like, oh, well, we can't sexualize the women, but you can sexualize the men. And you yes. see a lot of these, like, in a lot, especially in fighter games, like, you see these guys are, like, big, bulky, you know, Rambo bodies and everything, like, you know, 1980s Rambo. You know how ripped uh, Sylvester was back in them days. Yeah. Or even uh, Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And they're, you know, some of them are running around in Speedos and whatnot, but, and then, uh, they're, you know, you have, you know, rippling abs and whatnot, and then when it comes to the ladies, they're not... You know, they're given a completely different treatment. They're basically covered up. And I was like, um, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, you know? But I don't fucking know anymore. It's, I don't understand what some of these companies are doing anymore. Well, it's like, and like, um, I think it's just like, it's when they would, uh, like the ladies, they would only be like, you know, be more boobs than clothes. That's when it was a little too offensive. Yeah, like... Like, when, I've seen... Especially if I'm going through these retro games. Yeah, like... would be, like, one or two females only, and they would be practically naked. Yeah, you know? like, I... Like, like uh, with Mortal Kombat, when it came to, my, like, Melina. Yeah. Like, one of the box op... Not box arts, but one of the, um... I don't know if it was promotional art or fan art or what it was. But it was basically Melina in her, um purple kind of sling bikini kind of thing. Yeah. And she had her two sides over her tits covering her nipples and whatnot. It was like, okay, uh, from the outside looking in, the art is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And whoever worked on that put a lot of effort yeah. into it. But at the same time, I could understand, you know, the whole sexualization of women and whatnot with that. And that really yeah. was sexualized art. And some of the yeah. uh, some of the outfits were very sexualized and everything. But the, at the same time, a lot of the men's, they were pretty sexualized as well. Um, it was just, the problem was, um, back in them days, you had more boys being gamers than girls. And now I know the times have changed where it's almost, you know, down the middle, you know? Yeah, like I think, uh, as we all keeps coming back to, the solution is, like, it should have been down the middle, you know, all the way. You know? Oh, definitely. And we, we can make the argument about a lot of games and uh, even a lot of other uh, conversations. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like Overwatch had, like, a good um, balance. And you had sexy characters, and you also had some bulky chicks and some, you know, so some, like, some weight, some age, diversity. Oh, yeah. Uh, skin colors. Um, but, uh, anyways. Um, but, yeah. Let's see here. We've got two more topics, and uh, kind of positive. Okay, I'll what do you got? So. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What the heck is she is? Oh, Persona 6. Yep, and, um, and you can see a familiar character there. That, yeah, that's Joker. So, um, there are rumors that Persona 6 might break tradition. And they actually might sequelize uh, with, with the uh, the Phantom Thieves. Really? Uh, yeah, because um, yeah, so this might take like, like a few years later. Because I think um, um, essentially it like uh, every every see every mainline entry, the uh, it's always been like it's a tradition to just have a new cast. Yeah. And you can kind of tell they didn't really want to ever since Persona Three. Yeah, they kind of uh, wanted to yeah. do sequels. Yeah, like they so they just made like you know different versions of it, several versions, and then finally they I guess they moved on and made Persona Four, which was even bigger. Yeah. And they kind of like you know uh, you know uh, you know yeah uh, what was the word for it? But uh, essentially they they pushed back a bit and to be like tons of spinoffs and stuff like that. With Persona. Yeah. Yeah, fighting games, dancing games, uh, you know different types of RPGs. Yeah, games. I heard like. Yeah. A- Persona 4 had, like, a lot of uh, tie-in material. Yeah. Um, like, uh, I recently picked up Persona 4 Ultra Max, and I always thought Arena Ultra Max. I thought that was just maybe, like, the like the, the remastered version of Arena. No, it's a sequel to Arena, apparently. Like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I have to buy it now. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be damned. So I can see the, yeah, so I can see the story. Um, and uh, so they would do... But then, so then they moved on to five, and they're like, you know what? Fuck it. We're just we're gonna keep sticking to Phantom Thieves. We like them too much. Fucking yeah. hell! I mean, the Phantom Thieves were fucking popular. Yeah. Like I remember when Persona Five, a little bit after that game came out, it took over the fucking world. It was a juggernaut, yeah. Like everybody was playing it. I have yet to play it, but you know, Persona's not really my bag, you know. But I, I mean, I'll admit it's fucking popular, and 
I, even I'll admit some of like the the music are the fucking bangers like that. They'll never oh, yeah. see it coming song. Yeah. Every now and again, that'll pop up on my YouTube um, music uh, feed every now and again. Yeah, I gotta find a way to uh, yeah, it's like slide into the stream schedule at some point. Because uh, I know me and that series are like kind of meant to be. Because I told you that the uh, story of my birthday, right? I believe so, but refresh my memory. Um, I bought Persona 4. Apparently the game takes place, uh, the story takes place on April 1st, 2008. Okay. Uh, guess what's the day I played it for the first time? April 1st, 28, 2008? Yep. <laughs> like, oh, it must have, like, tapped into, like, my, my console's clock or something, you know? Uh, but no. Uh, I guess it was I, meant to be. Yeah, my birthday is March 31st. So, um, and it was like, I was like, so I bought it, like, the day before, uh, and, uh, played it and April 1st, so it was, like, it was meant to fucking be. And... <laughs> And sure enough, like, at some amount years later, Persona 5 Royale drops on my birthday. You know. So, yeah, it's, it's meant to be. So I, 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 must say, I, think the, I think the universe is trying to tell you something. Yeah. Like, right now, I'm trying to play uh, the Final Fantasy in the Star Ocean series. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to get around Persona pretty, hopefully sooner than later. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll eventually get to it and knock it out. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Persona 5. Hell, I laughed whenever Joker was at, uh, introduced as a deal, as an additional character to Smash. Yeah. Okay. Now for our final story. I think you can take it away with this one. Oh yeah, I remember tell, telling you about this one. Also, thank you for the Reese's. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, oh, Slug, those are mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you little yeah. chitter. Um. Oh, I, I would have taken a run, but thank you. Um, yes, Black Myth Wukong. I know a lot of um, game journalists have attacked this game. Yeah. Um, and it has actually been proven that it was actually a mistranslation of, of all the stuff. Some of the stuff that they the dev said has could be considered, you know, rude, crude, and socially unacceptable. Yeah. But it was not outright sexist. But... Um, they placed their benchmark out not too long ago. Um, I think it was about almost a week ago now, I believe. And, um, it did very, very well. And it was just a benchmark, you know, a little cinematic to see if your PC can run it. Which, I'm, I want to say this. Uh, game devs, if you make a big game, please put a benchmark out. Especially for PC gamers. Just to yeah. let us know if our rigs can handle it, or if we need to make, yeah. if we, if we need upgrades. Yeah, that... recently, uh, I just did it yesterday with uh, Final Fantasy 16 PC port. Uh, or I guess when it gets, uh, did what's out today, make sure you uh, update your graphics cards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up, so. always update your graphics cards when a new game comes, when a new big game comes out, children. Yes, yeah, Speed Freaks forced me to do that. Uh, so, <laughs> but yeah, my computer ran just fine. I'm oh, yeah. Shocked. Yeah. It's because I've had this fucking rig for three years now. Hey, and luck it still plays the newest, highest shit. Hey, luckily, Speed Freaks doesn't require a whole lot, you know? It's right. not even that big of a game. I think it's only like 15 gigs. But um, uh. Black Myth Wukong came, was released today. And um, um, on Steam alone, um, oh, where is it? Here we go, Steam Database. On Steam alone, um, the all-time peak, 2,223,179 players. That is the second highest player count of all time on Steam. The only thing that beat it is uh, CSGO. CSGO is very popular. But, oh, to this day, too. Huh? Oh, to this day, it's very popular still. There are still official tournaments going on for CSGO. Yeah, I'm surprised, because I remember that game. I played that game when it first came out. Oh, I'm surprised I... they haven't made a shit ton of Call of Duties. <laughs> well, I mean, what? Uh, I don't know why. I mean, it's one of those things. Don't fix what's not broken, you know? I guess. Uh, it's like, you know, our... Fresh and add anything new, I guess, either. All right. Uh, but as of this moment, as of recording, I just pulled up the Steam chart. Uh, 540,000 players are playing it as of this moment right now. 
Um, there, it is the number one top seller on Steam right now. This game has broken records. Um, that's good for them. Oh yeah. And hopefully they didn't have to take any epic money. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't take no epic money. <laughs> but um. There is a little bit of um, scuff here and there, and sometimes there are crashes. But what it's as sad as it is to say, that's kind of expected on a day one release. Yeah. Oh man. But uh, congratulations to Game Science. Um, from what I have seen, this game is looking to be a very strong contender for Game of the Year. Um. It came out of the gate fucking swinging. That's good here. I mean, I'm not going to play because I don't like monkeys. But, uh, <laughs> well, from what yeah, I... Y'all have a good time. From I haven't... I'm I'm probably going to wait till it goes a little bit on sale before I get my hands on it. Who knows when that's going to be. Maybe the winter sale, I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, this game it came out of the game... I came out of the gate fucking swinging, and as of this moment, there are 176,000 upvotes compared to 5,000 downvotes on Steam. So it's a 95.82% uh, positive rating. Um, so congratulations to Game Science. Um, and I hope that this game will continue to do very, very well. Because from what I have understood, this takes place, I think, after... Yeah, I never watched the trailer. What, what kind of game is it? Um, it's a it's kind of a Soulsian game a little bit. Okay. But from what I have understood, this place takes place after Journey to the West. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, for lack of a better term, it's a sequel to Journey to the West. But gotcha. um, I may be wrong. It might be a prequel. I haven't had a chance to really look into it. But... Yeah, I used to play Flintlock. That was a damn good Souls-like game. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this game is, uh, yeah, congratulations to Game Science. And, uh, Slug, give me back my Reese's. Those are mine. I honestly was going to give you some Reese's in that picture, but it's felt out of place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised you give them to the damn war criminal. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, but, okay. Just to uh, briefly go over everything. Um, so, but, yeah. A lot of disrespect. Needs to fall into a wood chipper. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, let Suicide Squad be a uh, a tale of never uh, go for live service. Um, well, sometimes uh, some live service games do work. I mean, Helldivers was one of those. But the problem is um, it got... They kept on doing nerfs and unbalances, and uh, also unless you like own your game one hundred percent, you know, or someone can step in, you know, then don't do it, yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, let the let Hell Divers be a cautionary tale. Yeah, that's, that's the word term, cautionary tale. Uh, and also, um, Hell Divers like no, no, no game is gonna be on top forever. Nope. It's a your heyday and look towards the future. Yep. Um, you, you will and, you will and, always get dethroned. And take constructive criticism. From the fans. Take yes, uh, take constructive criticism. We also learned uh, don't take epic money. Do not. They should probably their businesses. Uh, yeah, no, you're get, at that point. You're it's a kiss of death. Yeah. Um, no to battle passes. If, it, if it's a free to play game, I will allow a battle pass. No battle creep though, and definitely do not do two de separate battle passes at once. Yeah, everyone gets one. Uh, well, I guess they. It's like we only accept so much bullshit, but we give you a little leniency, you know, like I'll one price I'll, up hike. That's about it. You I'll, know, it's like I'll cut shit. you. I'll cut. I'm willing to cut a lot of games from slack, but there are some lines I will not cross. Uh, learn, uh, learn from once human. Uh, don't ask for positive reviews. Uh, let your actions speak for you. Yep. If you want positive reviews, go out and earn them. Um, but we do say uh, in humble games case, uh, give notice. At the very least. Yep. You know, heads up. And I hope these guys bounce back up on their feet and find new jobs soon. Yeah. Because the market uh, right now is uh, it's very rough. Yeah. Um, 
And also, uh, Seven Days to Die ain't quite spring chicken, but, uh... Yeah. Also, why is uh, Seven Days Slug look pastel? Oh, uh, that's 3D Slug. Uh, <laughs> it's terrifying. I don't like it. Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll see the, uh, the, the profile, but, uh... Yeah, so, uh, the arts was like, I'm gonna try to make a 3D render of Slug, and most people were like, dear gods. Kill it with um, fire! So they're like, no, so basically we kind of, uh, pretend that's like the, um, uh, the, the online cousin. Yeah. Uh. It, it's that cousin that nobody likes, but we, we still have to play soccer with it. Oh, exactly. Um, I think I actually even have some art. <laughs> oh, let's make it real quick. Oh, God, so that fucking beard and propeller hat just still gets me. Say hello, kids. <laughs> Yeah, I remember you showing me that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, oh, did she's come to visit the, the weird one. I was like, oh God, it's here again. Not even, yeah. not even she's here again. It's here again. That's just, oh, I'm pretty sure it's sexist. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, but yeah. Uh, try not to rely on a. Theaters? Try not to rely on AI too much. A leaning yep. a, having a little bit of AI help you out with every now and again, that's fine. It sometimes you just don't use it to cut too many corners. Make it make it a tool yeah, yeah. that makes life easier. Don't make it where it does everything for you. Yeah, AI is a tool, not a replacement. Exactly. For people. Right. Uh, 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 let's see here. Um, well, uh, no pun intended, but Bioshock is going to have to sink or swim on its own. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, Nintendo, uh, make a fucking Switch 2 already. Just shut up and do it. Yep. They've um, already made the Switch light, but go ahead and make a new console. It's almost getting that time. Okay, and um, just uh, put out that fire pit that all the billions of dollars from Meta is going. And fill that landfill of all those uh, VR headsets and move the fuck on. They're not going to sell Meta, so just cut your losses. At this yeah. point, it's a very fucking massive loss, but cut it nonetheless. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll have a drink to Boulder's Gate and Larian Studios. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Destiny, uh, well, um, or should I say... Bungie and Joy, probably the last year you're going to get to exist. Yeah. You it down. Yeah, no, y'all yeah. are going to get scrapped. Yeah, you're going the way of volition. Yep. Okay. Uh, and um, whether it's the, the Phantom Thieves or whatever, we welcome a Persona 6. It's kind of been long enough. And good luck to uh, whoever the Phantom Thieves will end up fighting in that game. Uh, you're not long for this world. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I only played like, like the first uh, like, our story arc. And boy, that guy was a scumbag. <laughs> oh man and uh go Wukong yeah know? congratulations game science okay over well, here breaking yeah. records and whatnot. oh yeah but yeah, like, they always uh, play, they always say records are always meant to be broken that's true oh so, man reach for the stars kids yep I said it's a good way to time to sign off uh Oh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next uh, news topic, and uh, if we ever do like actual woke debate here, uh, <laughs> where I get to out myself, that's just uh, even more. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm probably going to get canceled. I mean, that's what I always say. I'm going to go down in a great big fireball of cancel culture, <laughs> or something like that. Fuck, uh, can fuck cancel culture. <laughs> you oh, you yeah. can only get canceled if you let yourself get canceled, children. I see, um, and one, one reason, one thing is too, is that, uh, I'm, I kind of find a good way to, like, slip into these communities on both sides. I'm just, I'm just a good self, uh, person. Uh, just because I'm also fascinated with cult mentality. Um, and I've been around these people, and, like, they would discuss, like, because they would tell you what to think. And, uh, they're like, okay, you have to drop your friend, you're too toxic. Yeah, no, I refuse to do that. You, I, I could not be a cult member. I'd be sick to be like, nah, fuck this. I'm taking over. <laughs> you all listen to me. My first decree, bring me bacon. And rum. <laughs> oh, lordy. 
Yeah, uh, I, I would not be a good cult leader. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm all for diversity. Uh, I mean, I'm for diversity as well, just, you know, not where it, it hinders the game and actually makes the game flop. Uh, yeah. But we could probably have, like, a plot point presentation breakdown on what you could do right and wrong. Oh, definitely. We could, we could, and I'm at, and I'm almost certain that at the end of it, we could come to an agreement of what, of do's and don'ts. Yeah, cause it is kind of like, you know, uh, easy to make everyone happy. It just kind of makes you wonder why they don't choose not to. Money. Uh, yeah, I was just say like, you would think the do away would be money as well. Well, I, I mean, I like money, but, you know, I, I like, I try to, I also live within my means as well. Yeah. So we kind of could have our own version of what happened, right? You know, but uh, kind of like a more political version of that, you know. But uh, but at the end of the day, me and you, are, me and you are still friends, and I don't, and I don't yeah. think anything's going to change that. Oh yeah. Anywho, let's have it. I think that's a good way to uh, end it. Oh I'll yeah. Take care now. Y'all have Peace. a good one.